Thank you very much, Shinshi. It's time to actually finish Bloodborne. Let's do this thing. So, over here and start the game up. Simple as. Best chance, I really don't mind. Okay, spring is sprung. thing. So the big thing is I am going to go through Tamara with Eel. Ideally, hopefully, that's the ideal piece. And then take down Queen Yarnum and then take down the final boss. See what happens. Hajiman Mashjenshi, how are you doing? This one should probably be a little shorter. I don't think it'll go past two hours or so, which is decent because I actually have some things to do this evening, but it's not much. How are you? Well, I mean, it's there's not much left in the game. <laughs> We're almost done. And then next weekend I'll start up Dark Souls 3. Let's just do a chalice ritual, and there we go. A great tomorrow Yule chalice, and we have enough for everything. Ritual to create a chalice. Oh, go on, go ahead. See, and this is okay, and it's narrow like the first view. Were you was that because of the party or what? That's certainly something that can happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was it your roommates or or what? Because I assume it wasn't you, otherwise you just would have said it. You say you have something fun to share, I assume there was some sort of weird set of circumstances getting in the way. Causing such a thing to happen. So we are in Tamaru Eel, layer one. Close the, close the curtains. That's kind of... Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, as as one does. Oh, look, it's your favorite thing, a side area. Are you happy now? Should be. Okay, I do. Yeah. Wait, do I? Oh, hi, hello. And two, three. Oh, so they were basically smoking your clothes. It's hilarious. So, what are you going to do about this situation? Do you consider it to be a problem, or...? Okay. I mean, because if you were fine with it, you could just keep doing the same thing you... The same thing you do. Oh, hello there. Hi. One, two... And then... I wonder what's going to be all around this way. Growing knife? Hmm. Which, oh, hello there. That is... And this still works, but the hammer would be a little bit better on the spiders. So we got this part down here. Okay, okay. But at the very same time, without the sun, it might not draw out as fast. It might not work as well. I don't know. Or you could tell them, you could set up an arrangement with them, but that said, I'm not sure how well they'd respond. Okay, that's true. Cool. I keep forgetting how hot things are in Italy. Okay. So, Quicksilver Bullets. Let's get rid of these things. Is anyone else down around here? Okay, so that way, even if we step on the pressure plate, nothing should happen. Okay. Go. I just wonder. It's been a week, so I don't remember how much... How many Blood Echoes I need for a level up. Oh! What about it saves electricity? Do they just charge you less, or...? What about it? Okay. Then. Hmm. Let's go over here and... Oh, a trap. Beware of trap. Thank you. Well, I mean, I saw that, but... It's so nice. So, oh, just... Oh, what a funny spider. Hello there. Come on, just one. Oh, okay. And... Okay, we can rally battle back. It's nice. Just more bullets. So let's... 
Cut out these messenger totems just for the just for the sake of it. So what are we gonna what just died? That is interesting. Okay, and this is the drop down to only that door over there seems to have anything in it. So what is this is the drop down to where we were before, so the only thing I really see is this door over here. Hmm. It's just Oh, oh, okay, I see a... Let's lure these Temerians out of here. Hi, hello there. I love the range on this thing. Love the range on this thing. What I wonder is, given that the Elden Ring DLC is kind of like the Bloodborne DLC, and that it's one... According to some people, one... I mean, two expansions condensed into one for various reasons. I wonder if it'll have another weapon like Holy Moonlight Sword, which scales off of most of the attacking stats in the game pretty well. Okay, three areas of... Okay, so what they do just charge you more for el electricity use during certain time periods in order to release... in order to reduce load. That makes sense. Okay, okay. I've heard of things like that before. Okay, two, three, and there's a merciless watcher over there. Oh, with a funny gun. Okay, interesting. And swallow it up. Hi, hello. Let's just blast you in. Well, oh, did we? I think we kind of leaned over the. Okay, I did not mean to do that. I wanted to do a jump attack. Jump it. There we go. We got what we needed. Jump it. Nice. Okay, it worked. Blood vial and. Ritual Bond, which we don't really need. In the end, I can't imagine that I'm getting that much from getting all these coffins, because I'm never going to make a normal chalice again, I wouldn't imagine, given that hmm, if I was doing blood gem farming, I would just use chalice dungeon glyph passwords, which would just put me straight through without requiring any materials. It's just... Hmm. Oh, it's great. I actually... You might not have seen. Also, I think... Th I, I feel like the word owner is a bit... Unfortunate in this context. <laughs> but I have... I got Chevros on that same day randomly off of Weapon Banner, which was really nice because some leaks said that Chevros would have been on the banner with Fremine and Lynette. And it ended up being Zhongling, so I was just sort of, dang, I really hoped I would get Chevros, because I didn't have Chevros, and then she just randomly showed up on the weapon banner, which was incredible. Because, so, I had actually pre-farmed for Chevros in 4.2. Because I was expecting her to be on the banner with Navia, and then she wasn't. Yeah, basically. What does that mean? What do you think that means, then? Let's channel these blood echoes and get a little bit of arcane. That will slightly increase the damage of my Moonlight Greatsword. Okay. So eventually, we're actually pretty close to the maximum AR of this, because when you... If you have a maximum gem set up with maxed out stats, the Holy Moonlight Sword gets to something like 1,040 AR. Don't worry, that was a joke. I would never ask you to leave. Then I, then I would be left with only fake Italians. I wouldn't have any real Italians. And I'd have to listen to him talk about pasta without anyone to correct the potential falsity of his opinion. Okay. So... Just gonna keep on going. Keep on looking. But... I actually... We managed to get another special Eye of Ender from a desert temple with some fun puzzles back when we were playing Minecraft the other day, which was nice. Okay, so... it's the right spot. But... but... Okay, and is that... okay, and just a random Merciless Watcher. Visceral attack is effective. Or we can just... Jump it. Well, I did not intend to do that. I intend to go for. Oh, oh, okay. Jump attack, and. Come on, just jump it. Well, alright, and. Okay. 
I, I don't think I'm gonna do that one. Well, okay, I'm dead. Give him an identity crisis, how? He's literally 20, 25% Italian by blood. It's all just... He's less Italian than I'm Japanese, and I don't even really claim to be Japanese because I'm only half. I've never been there, and I don't even really speak the language. So, it took four years of knowing him to find out that, yeah, he was 25% Italian. He was He's just as much Russian, which did not conform to the image he <laughs> tried to put out. Okay, so that's a bit easier to land than the... Oh, okay, well... If you want to do it, I'm not going to stop you. It's your prank idea. Yeah, that's actually a good amount of blood that goes from that washer. Okay. Hmm. But if you use a visceral, then a blood liquor will show up, and I don't exactly want that. Hmm. Just let me... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two, three, and... Oh, oh, interesting. I didn't know there was a third. Okay, cool. One, two, three. Well, they're all gone now. One while. Okay, so let's... Tamari Eel seems to be a bit less complicated. Oh yeah, because I did tell you about the time that I... I made up a fake... And the guillotine gets him. You can do that. Okay. A fake Kyrim distribution event. To fool a friend, and understandably they were... Not that fond of me after that. Which was a tragedy, because I made their Minecraft skin for them. Mm -hmm. Which is the profoundest bond of trust between any two people. Don't worry, I, I figured you were referencing that. Okay, so what is... Who's throwing a poison knife at me and from where? Oh, they're up top over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's just see what we can find. I don't want to get poisoned. This may surprise you. And this is... Loverweights ahead? I think. Okay. Don't worry, it's what I do best. Yeah. I'm just dragging you down to my level. As an idiot. Okay, come on, just jump it. One, two. How to use these corners to get rid of the dogs. Oh, please, how am I gonna jump and slam? The stagger's good. One, and just jump it. Slam again. Yeah, this jump attack is easily my best source of damage other than a fully charged R2, which understandably is kind of a pain to deal with. Oh, come on. Let's go through one. Which way are you gonna... Oh, please, just one, one... Oh, oh, baby, I don't like that. Two, and... There is... Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Luckily, I can tank that, but still. Mm -hmm. So where is... I think that's a... Is that a coffin chest, or what? So there's one door over that way, and there's something here. A bit cold blood. Then... Ignoring weights ahead, don't you dare look at me. Okay. Just gonna keep... Trying to see... Okay, and there are oil jars over there. Probably one kajillion. Forty billion. Come on, just... Where are we... Ah. Give me, give me more. Oh, my, 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 my. oh, okay. Can I? I timed that wrong. I timed that very incorrectly. Okay, so I guess the question is how am I gonna get up top? And what's all in here? Molotovs, quicksilver bullets. Is this a chest or not? Okay, this is not a chest. So that wasted our time. Anything over this way, or. This could be an illusory wall. It's not. Hmm. Are we gonna... Hmm. It said ignore, but... I feel like going through here anyway. Hmm, they can't stop me. That sign can't stop me, because I can't read. Don't give up. Hmm. Yeah, but we're gonna get close to 40 in every stab by the end of all this, which is crazy to think. Yeah, I'm DW from Arthur. That's what's going on. Okay, so... Let's see... So I don't imagine that anything particularly useful is in here, because it's not the lever door, and they also literally said don't go here, but... And there's nobody in that coffin. 
Kinda disappointing. I missed those jump scares. Someone in here. Oh, really? Really? Guess it was mostly a Loran thing. Just make it make sense that it's funny. Funny Wolfland. Okay. Hmm. Well, in that case, you know, you know, you try, you try, you try, you find nothing. Wear of wire, and I assume that would be someone saying this was an illusory wall, which it definitely isn't. Yeah. Have to test it anyway. Oh, yeah, what happened? Did she finally koto in public and apologize for plagiarism, or did she double down? I'm assuming she doubled down. Okay. Let's go over this way and open the dough. We got a brazier here and a. Oh, a trap. Some sort. Oh, there's a. Oh, oh my goodness. What? What in. Uh huh. Uh, uh, okay. I was not expecting a random ghost woman to show up. That is unpleasant. Okay. Oh, what what happened? One of the girls that worked for her and her mom had an operation, and did Jojo Siwa pay the doctor to kill her or something? I don't know. Okay, thirty-seven and all these, which it's basically soft caps for everything. Started bleeding. Much pain, Jojo Siwa demanded demanded to eat it in order to gain eyes on the inside and ascend to godhood. Okay. Come on. I mean, that's what we're doing. Okay, ritual blood. More of that, which I don't need. Okay, please. Gotta wear these over here. Oh, okay. I kind of thought it'd probably be something like, you gotta keep dancing even though you are on the verge of death, and I was sadly correct. May wonders never cease. Okay. Two, and are you gonna go for an Okay, it was just a two hit combo. Have space ourselves out. Thank you. It's just. Wait, wait, so. Do you mean she was. pregnant, or. Because umbilical cord implies. pregnancy. Uh, that is... Yeah, les... Rare example of lesbian on straight lines. Okay, okay, okay. Can I... Let's see. There's another watcher over there, and... Oh, okay, okay. I guess... Okay. There should be a ghost woman over here, more or less, but... Okay, please. Just... So I need to... Where are the dogs gonna come from? Come on, come on. Well, either way, that sucks. I hope she recovers from working for Jojo Siwa. Come on, just one, two. And. Uh, yeah, that. I mean, in the end. Come on. I think. Fundamentally. Is that. Uh, I feel like alleging that can kind of backfire because it allows her to deflect by proving that she doesn't hate disabled people instead of just apologizing for something she did that should not happen for, to anybody. Because in the end, it's if someone had an operation and was actively leaking blood and they were just, yeah, dance for me anyway... But I feel like, rhetorically, it gives her an out. Okay, so where is... Does that ghost have my bloodstain then? Oh, I think? Maybe? Okay, let's just... Oh, please, just dodge it. We need to... Uh, just die, die, and... Do you have my blood echoes? Do you have my... Who has my blood echoes? Where is my bloodstain? That is... Hmm, you were a trap. I guess maybe a Temerian on the top floor might have it, if it's only horizontal instead of vertical. Hmm. Okay. Okay, and I think, let me see. I don't see anyone out there, though. That's the thing. So where's my blood stain? Where'd it go? I don't see it anywhere, and I didn't die again, so it can't just be gone. Yeah, it... 
I mean, I mean, who though? It's the only one that comes to mind immediately for me is Gisling Maxwell. She's been in prison for four years. Okay. So where is? Hmm. Hmm. Come on, come on. Where do I? Okay, climb up this ladder, and I assume that would give me a way into this sort of balcony area to hopefully get my Bladeggers back. That is interesting. Ghost woman showing up is not great either. Mm -mm. Give me a way to. Yep, and he does have my blood echoes. Nice. Hi, hello there. Then, how much is. Should be enough for a couple of level ups. And. No mercy for liars. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Coin Ballinger. It's. C celebrity is. Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on. Just give me. Mm -hmm. Come on. Please. Just... Oh, I keep messing up that jump. Give me. What in the. At least it staggers well, but still. Oh, please. Maybe if I just dodge it. Will this hit with both? Okay, well, cool. Nice. Die and take the lever down. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Somewhere a door to the old labyrinth is opened. Uh -huh. hmm. So there's this door over here, which it's gonna be in here. Okay, well. James Charles' whole deal was basically a male makeup influencer. And he was apparently the first cover guy or cover boy or whatever before. He kind of had his fall from grace. I think I remember he... There was someone else who kind of went down with him. Someone kind of... We had a big public spat with, if I recall correctly. This isn't my area of expertise, as you may probably understand. But, hmm, and then down here. Okay, I think we've been here. What with slight disgust. As in, he had a spat with someone and went down with him. I just... It's not my area of expertise. I... Usually, I'm looking at Genshin leaks and clips of Souls games. This is just things I've heard through the grapevine, so to speak. Okay. Give me Blood Echoes. A little bit more vitality, and yep, we're getting diminishing returns now. Yeah, definitely. I would say so. Then... Feels pretty well on that. Okay, a little bit more health and a little bit more stamina. That can't hurt. Yeah, we're getting into... 200,000 souls territory for a single level up now. Okay. Just wonder, does anything need a repair right now? That's the question. Going. Hmm. There, that takes. That needs a little bit. Yeah, but right now we have... Some decent physical gems on this, but the best gems on a Holy Moonlight Sword, actually, I would want to get the Lost variant from a Chalice or something first, but you would equip a bunch of nourishing gems, which just increase every attack stat, and that gives it its highest AR. Technically, get a bit closer with, kind of close with just physical gems. But it doesn't give as much arcane. But that said, it only deals its full arcane damage when you're doing attacks that use bullets, except for the greatsword mode to smaller greatsword mode transformation attack. So it's... If you're not spending bullets, you'd actually deal more damage just without the nourishing gems, but it... I don't know. It's whatever. Hello there. Hi. One, two, and... Let's just get rid of this guy. 
One, and thank you. Single hit and dodge away. I don't want to spend my bullets before this fight, but I feel like fighting this guy anyway. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, please. And just one, two, and... Oh, we dodged under his attack just through movement. That's really funny. Okay. Didn't want him chasing me. That said, I can't imagine he really would. Is there going to be a side area here, or... Another side area. It's your lucky day. Hmm. Yeah, but... Like I said before, I got Chevros, immediately leveled her up because I'd pre-farmed many months ago. And started using her on a Yai, Miko, official Chevros, Arlequino team, which is a really, really funny team to, fun team to use. Because you don't have to play Circle Impact, so to speak. If they got out of the range of Fischl and Yai, that's another thing, but it doesn't happen all that much. And also, given that Chevros allows you to shred both Electro and Pyro Resistance. Get a decently even balance between the characters. That said, I think I'd probably end up doing more damage with a, maybe a Bennett team, given that it would be buffing Arlequino's damage, which... Focusing on her personal damage, given the fact that I have her 5-star weapon, could be a little better in the end, maybe. But the big thing is that she's not tied to Bennett. Which means that in Abyss, I'd be able to use Bennett with a Linny, which would be nice. Yeah, it's a fun team. And what's really fun is that the new boss, which uses... The new boss, which has a bunch of... Nice. Has a massive, massive Geo Shield. Even though there are no Geo characters or Claymore characters on the team. The team can deal with the shield really well just because of all the overloads and that's spamming. It's kind of crazy. Okay, and goodbye, Mr. Kirkhammer. Give me... Nothing. Okay. Let's check out the rest of this area. So, Tamero Eel is... Very expansive. We got a pretty big side area at the start and at the end. What's smart? Breaking the shield? Okay, well... That's true. Just, okay, it's gotta remember where to go. This is... Side over here, side over. Mm -hmm. Give me... Let's go over here first. I assume it would probably... No, this is where we came from, and I'm stupid. But we knew that already. I... Did a bunch of Arlequino team testing last night, and... Kind of wore myself out. I also beat... Yeah, yeah, but... And Navia team's still faster, though. But Navia's not on banner right now, so... I'm not using her in Abyss. Okay, so who is... Do I hear somebody? I hear somebody moving, but... I don't see anybody around. I can't... really see anything. Hmm. Give me... Okay, two mold. I don't need that. So what is it? Okay, and there's a bridge over here. Climb up, pull that lever. Well, it's... If I did, I'd just keep using the same characters forever. If I want to have variety and you know, have chances to use other characters, I kind of have to force myself to do it. That said, it's part of why I'm so excited for the new sort of quasi-abyss mode that we're getting next patch because well one it'll actually okay fair it'll increase our premium gem income by a decent amount but it'll also it's kind of like that one event where they gave you those trial characters to use and you had to sort of switch them in and out based on a random selection they gave you access to despicable focus on healing and it let me see you can use trial characters if you don't have relevant characters, but it also just... It'll get me to show off more of my roster, which would be nice. But apparently Sayu is on the initial lineup, and I don't have Sayu leveled, so I'll either need to do that or do some trial stuff. Come on, just one, two, three, four... Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, what is... What is... Who just hit me? 
Okay, one of those guys. Okay, cool. I need to. Uh, uh, uh. Not fun. Not fun. Dodge it. Slash, slash, slash it. What? What the? Okay. Hmm. We gotta use this for cover from the gunfire. Wait, is in. Ba so it's kind of like Battle Factory, actually. A little. But the difference is, is that instead of complete rentals, you're using a selection of your own based on the situation, which is actually kind of cooler in my opinion. Because you still have trail characters if you need them, but you can use their own. It's just randomly determined which ones you can use. So more ritual blood, which again, we don't need, but if we want to see everything there is to see, we gotta poke around. That's how it goes. So, just a tiny bit of fell damage. Worth it for the little bit of time saved. So, can. Okay, yeah, but range on this is insane. Love this thing. The cold blood, and. I think Boom Hammer is still probably a bit better, but. This is going to be. Our best weapon in the end, I think. And hi there, hello. And. Pitiful, really. So just, I think I saw a guillotine. Gotta make sure I don't get straight up chopped in half. Hi, hello. Take a step forward. It's a foul note. Okay. And then, is there nothing here? You were hidden back for feasting. There is nothing. Foul note, okay. So nothing here. That's funny. Okay. Actually, what if I... I wonder if I could ride ride it up if I stood on the edge. Let's see. Guillotine elevator. It's just... Oh? Okay, well, I fall off eventually. Makes sense. Let's just go down here and... Grab a couple of items. Nobody is going to be using a cannon or anything, so I don't imagine we would be any, in any significant danger. There might be some enemies jumping out of coffins, but we'll see. Come on, come on. Give me a little bit more. Anything over here, or is this just... This just seems to be seven this item. So drop down from the top bridge area. Okay, cool. And then, and then, and then... Are we gonna? We've been under here. Is there anything else to grab or? Hmm. Either way, we can get a level up before the boss fight. So I'll do that. I may as well. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got enough to level up once, which will increase the damage of this Holy Moonlight Sword decently. Meaningfully. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah, when you get to... 40, you're already at... 66% or so of... All the stat scaling you get from leveling up, so... Diminishing returns hit hard and fast. You'd only get... 20% uh, or more so damage taking... Arcane all the way to... 99, so... Rain. Thank you. Okay. Then. It, it. This is a very good weapon. I had to. When I used it against Maria, I probably would have been better off. This probably would have been my best weapon if I focused on leveling up the physical. But actually, I don't know. I don't know, though. It is what it is. But either way. One day when I get to max stats totally and completely, it will be my best weapon by far. At least for things that are weak to arcane, boom hammer might get close, and Tonitrus would be good too. Just, the more scalings you've got, the better the weapon will get. Well, there is a glitch that allows you to get crazy amounts of blood echoes, and if you do it on New Game Plus or higher, you basically go straight to next level. Okay, so a little bit more damage, and just, oh, okay, cool, cool, what, what, no, oh, come on, just slash it, uh, I don't need that, should've, I messed that up, and just one more, okay, did I really need those blood No, I definitely didn't, well, it, 
I don't know. Because the alternative is just grinding them some other way. But what you do is you equip the runes that give you more blood echoes on a kill, on a visceral. And then you get two viscerals on the living failure bo failure's boss in short succession. That's what you do. Oh, okay, so... i would be fast about this. I wonder if, if we... Come on. And if we do that, will you... Okay. Can't pancake you, it seems. What if we just... And... Okay. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? And I can't get the... That jump attack did not work. Just dodge it. Slam it. Hmm. Your jump attacks might work pretty well. Dodge it. Dodge it. One, two, and... Rally's capable. Well, it... That's kind of the point. Well, the big thing is that it would just be grinding, which it isn't a matter of being interesting or not. It's literally just more boring. There, There's nothing to theoretically gain unless you're going to be really anal retentive about not using glitches or anything, which there's no goddamn point to it. You get, you get nothing out of that. But... Because in the end, it'd just be running up to New Game Plus 50 or something, that... Well, it's not a matter of skill or challenge, it's literally just drudgery. If there's a way to skip that, it's... Literally no reason not to. Because... Given how much diminishing retur how many diminishing returns there are... You don't really get overpowered, you just get the ability to use pretty much all equipment at a decent level. It's... Oh, goodness. Just dodge it. I should try... try visceraling him. Probably. Oh, well, I... that timing was tough. Hmm. Oh, please. Okay, I just... what in the... Ah, oh, come on, just dodge him. Oh. Oh, how am I gonna... What weapon do I want to use against... Oh, well, oh, come on. Dodge it. Oh. So fast with that. Oh. What in the... Duh. What? Huh. Gotta be kidding. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And... Yeah. Please. Yeah, well... Well, it is you after all. And... Well... Hmm. Oh, what in the... What? Uh, okay, what is this guy weak to? He's weak as to... Descendant. Hmm. Mary Descendant is weakest to... Actually, weakest to Arcane. It's okay. Don't worry. Sorry for what? Hmm. Let me just... Uh, uh, uh. This is certainly something. Should have figured this wouldn't be cakewalk by any means, but this guy is just so fast. Well, oh, what? In the, what? Huh? No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So how am I gonna? Hmm. Well, what? In the, what? In the, what? What? Ah. Huh. Shotel is... And it goes through... Okay, it goes through walls and terrain. Okay. Cool. But... I think going for that thrust once I can manage would be my best... Yeah, best move. Okay. Just dodge behind it. Well, okay. Unless the lock breaks. That really sucked. Okay, just dodge it. Please. What? No, what? Okay, you can continue... Okay. Hmm. And just stab it. Well, that actually worked decently. So if we just kind of your step in with a well, okay. Hmm. Just, oh, please. Am I gonna? That was a mistake. But yeah, we can get these thrusts off it. It'll work just fine. I feel like using walls to cheese him would probably work best. 
She was just... You can go through the wall. If, yeah, that... Well, okay. Come on, just... Okay, the statue is... What I need to use. I think I found a way. I found a meaningful cheese method. And just... Kinda... Mm -hmm. Just... Stab it. It's all about... Pacing myself. And just... Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, so as long as you don't... Too close. Okay, I can use... This, uh... Oh, well... Uh, annoying. So this is a way to... Okay. As long as I can prevent you from stepping forward too much, I can just poke you around. Okay, well, alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just... Or not, or not. Mm -hmm. It's getting tough. But keep in mind, I think he still has a face, too. Okay. What are you gonna do now, if anything? Let's see. And you're just gonna... Okay, two show towels. So... I think if we were smart, we could actually kind of... Poke you on wake up. Well, uh, not if we totally miss. Annoying. So just... Get, the, get that back and... And... Where are you gonna go? Oh, well, alright. Uh, please, what in the... What in the... What in the... What? What in the what? Please. Well, I, I'm not familiar myself, so... Come on. Just gotta use the blood bullets. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Come on. Attack strong, though. That's good. So just... Okay. I'm stabbing with a funny great sword. Not gonna learn to parry. I probably can't, frankly. Okay, so that does get blocked. That's good. Just need a couple more blood bullets and... Should be fine and... What? 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 No. We were so close. God damn it. Because oh. the issue is, is that I made the blood bullets and I thought I'd be free, but he advanced so much with that one attack. But yeah, the only way we're going to be able to do this is just planning those funny L2 attacks. Okay. Then the other next one would be a bloodletting beast, if I recall correctly. So, which is also weak to arcane, conveniently enough. Hmm. Let's just see. Right, we should make some blood bullets first. Just uh, and then probably make them during the phase transition. Where is? Oh my! Okay, that was one heck of an attack. Good lord! Give me. More build stains. And then just. Oh, well, alright. You do that. Funny Shotel attack. And just stab. And on wake up, we'll stab you again. Thank you. So we can actually get two hits in pretty reliably that way. Okay, fair. And just. How are we gonna. Stab and. Well, oh, oh, no, no, no. No, no. Give me, give me. Stab. And just. Okay. To get up, we'll stab again. Thank you. Okay. So, we can attack two times before you do anything more. Yeah, yeah. Unless you show tell through the wall. That was less than pleasant. Okay, so, and then just... Well, oh, not if we... Not if it fails to stagger and he just gets us anyway. Yeah, it certainly kind of sucked. So, just stab it. Unless that... Okay. Bounced. What? What? No. Uh? Uh? I don't like that. Really don't like that. Okay, so just boom, and can we? Hmm. A few more blood bullets. And just. Oh, oh. Please. Got to be kidding me. And oh, what? What? No. Uh. Just the amount of damage you can put out in such a short duration is kind of crazy. Well, whatever. We can. One more. One more. Thank you. Okay, we got you during that attack. Where are we gonna... It's... Well, actually, I am. I'm standing through some of the statues, and it's... It's boss privilege. That's what it is. You have to be stronger than me somehow. Okay, so just stab... Or not. Uh, where are we gonna... Where are we gonna... Stab... Thank you. And when you get up, we'll just hit you again. Thanks. And you'll just do that, so... We... Okay. 
use that for a free hit, which was nice. So how are we gonna? Oh, oh, actually, if we if we get close, we can. But it depends on where he is and where we are. We can just barely hit him through the wall. Okay, so then, let's try again. And stab. Thank you, Stagger. Just need to be smart about this. And thanks. So just stab. And stab again. And okay, one more should do it. And just well, all right. We we messed that up. We messed that up hard. Okay. So just one more, one more. And goodbye to Marian Descendant. I will not miss you. Oh, that was, took more than it should have. Tempering down Blood Gem. Let's go down to the next layer first and get a few more cheeky level ups. Hmm. Should at least have 38 in every stat before end game. It's so many side areas. It's crazy. Layer two. And then. Yeah, we're... We are going to be way overpowered for endgame. That's it, I'm not complaining. I need to... Uh, you ready for... You gotta beat the secret boss anyway, so it's not that bad. It's... Eel's big. The whole deal is that Tamaru Eel is... It's the name of the queen... ...and of the capital. So, it goes to become your strength, and just more skill, and a bit more blood tinge, which doesn't do all that much. We're just getting another level of arcane, too. So I think we can buy our last piece of equipment. Yeah, the Madman Man chats in leggings, and now we have all of the insight. Clothes. It is interesting that they have weapon a weapons tab, even though to my knowledge, they never sell weapons at the Insight Messengers. Okay, so fifth ritual altar, layer two, we gotta go back to our other side area. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Bloodletting beast here, I'm wondering how hard it'll be to find. It's going to be a headless one, so apparently it'll have insects spraying out of it. We'll see. Mm -hmm. I need to... Well, we'll figure it out. Gotta go back first, go to the side area, and see what... Yeah, Iz Chalice was remarkably small. There weren't a lot of side areas, and they were generally... Tiny, though to be fair, it's arguably even more of a post-game one than this, given that it's technically, in theory, you can get access to eel pretty early. They might kind of be intending you to do eel before is. I'm not sure. Then, do I have any... Do I have any antidotes? I can... I guess I'll put that on hotbar. Oh, but I can't change anything out unless I'm not on a ladder. It's interesting. So I'll just keep this in, just in case. Got some poison guns over here, and let's just go over to somewhere where... Oh, this isn't poison, this is oil. This is interesting. I... Oh, alright. Can we just... Okay, come on. And these guys are very, very hardy. Interesting. So what I wonder is if I toss a Molotov in, would it all go up in flames? And... Hmm. No, no, it's... Just mud. Weirdly iridescent mud. Okay. Can't cold blood. And then, hmm, let's keep on slashing these guys up. Just well enough for me. And then, slash, slash, slash. And somebody's dropping something. I didn't see originally because it was submerged. And this is, yeah, just another blood vial. 
to be expected. Yeah, but the last time I was in this room layout, it was a poison swamp with giant... But Oh, wow. Yeah, they were dealing pretty ridiculous damage to me. That is certainly something. At least my weapon stagger is still good, but it's insane. In certain cases, it's... Even though these are kind of trash mobs, they seem to be dealing more damage to me than I am to them. Okay, luckily our reach gives us the ability to preempt them, even if our swings are kind of on the slower side. So, go in and keep slicing up these Temerians. And, oh, interesting, that's a... i to figure out where to engage them with these... Oh, Molotov, not fun. Oh, but, well, you know, I can get them too. Okay. Hmm. Let's just use these with relative uh, carelessness. Always better to use blood piles than die. Most cases. Especially since I did give up on doing things, quote unquote. Legitimately, and end up making the funny blood echo dungeon. Okay. Should go up and probably. Is something running after me? Other way, I need to go and try to kill them. Firebomb thrower up there to. Yeah. I think over here, or what is... Just dodge and... Uh, this is tough. Okay, so just one, two, and... Oh, we got some of them, but... That is... Tough. And then just a little more rallied, and... Do I have oil on me now, or... What? Oh, okay, so... I wasn't checking the icon, but it seems like that is oil. So if I got hit by fire, I'd take extra damage. That's what's going on. Maybe it's just all defense is down when I'm... Yeah, it seems like some kind of defense-reducing acid. Okay, now I think I understand. That is curious. Let's just hope that... Okay, so on the ladder now we... Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. One, two... Let's sit on the ladder for a bit to let that debuff go away so we didn't just die. Okay. One, two, die. We are taking damage. Then here is more two mole. Mm, poison knives. This really is just massive. And, oh, well, alright. One, two, die. And then... Getting close to level 38 in Arcane. Just in general, we're getting very, very strong. Anyone gonna burst out from here? Or no, does not seem like it. Fine with that. One, two, three, four. And then a random Tamari in here. Thank you. What do you drop? Just drop blood vials. So how are we gonna. Oh, went up. Oh, Wandering Madness. And anything from you, or... Well, oh, whatever. Come on, just... Oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay, alright. Mess that up. And just a blood gem, which I presume will not be of much use to me. So, and... Oh, spiders, yay. Hmm. Let's just dodge it. Okay, cool. One, two, three. We got pretty much all the health we lost back. Nice. What are we gonna... Word of ambush. Oh, I see spiders. Oh well. Sad. I do believe that... We'll do blunt damage with... Normal sword hits. Transform modes. That should counteract the fact that I believe the spiders resist arcane. Pretty sure. Yep, we got more spiders coming down. Oh well, oh well. One, two... Then take this nice and easy, nice and slow, for get to that treasure chest over there. Oh, hi, hello. And there should be some more over this way. Hi, hello. One, two. Said I've never let one drop down on me. I don't know if anything special happens. If so, let's just drop down to. Anything happen or what? 
Or would it? Oh, okay. It seems they just actually just wait. So they don't drop down on you directly. I just wonder if they'd have some kind of special grab attack. That makes sense. That pass right through that claw. Magic phasing spiders. Thanks. I wish the Rome spiders drop Mad Men's knowledges, which would be a lot nicer than just useless Quicksilver bullets. So what's in here? This is a different kind of chest. It's just... just more ritual blood. Okay, I guess. That is... passable. Hmm. How are we gonna... do this? There should be... Staircase down to oh, sort of that oil puddle. That should be all for this part over here. So we'll just deal with that and slashing you up. Two, three, four, thank you. And more blood vials. Then a random canarian again. Thank you. Hmm. Alright. And in that case, so this is just normal mud. Okay. And then, oh, Scorpion, hello. Hi there. And just one, two, stagger walk you, even if our damage might not be all that suited to this particular, particular fight, but this is... Wait. I see. Okay, the rats over here are coughing. This is very extensive. Come on. If I had Boomhammer right now, I would just... Cut them all up at once, but let's jump in and smack them, but hmm. There are time where I wish I still had boom hammer on me. Well, boom and that works too. Okay, never mind. And it doesn't require any kind of charging or anything. That's sad. The other ways to do that, so just boom it. Nice, knockdown. Spam that attack, more knockdown. Thank you, and one more, one more. Thank you, and, oh, well, oh, right, we messed that up, messed that up. Uh, if I'd timed that a little differently, I would have been in a better position, but either way, okay, one more, one more. There we go. And then, Timbering Dam Blood Jam, and two more. Hmm. So, was this accessible from outside, or? It always is. It's a fun weapon. Even if it might not be strictly good as this. Wonderful, wonderful sword at this point. Silver bullets, and... Yeah, I'm... This side path is a lot more... extensive than I expected. It's just... Okay, but that's where we came from, so we can just go back that way. Or teleport. Works too. Thing in here other than... It's just lots and lots of blood vials. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, oh! A random rat. Okay. So just cut you off. Goodness. What do we wanna do we want to I did not mean to do that. So I think should have found everything. I am under that impression. Back through this way and I Yeah, so got two more level ups waiting for us though. This is Kinda crazy. Because this will take us 30 and everything and 39 and vitality. It This is where the point this is the point stats one is where the dimension returns really start kicking in. So we really We really miss nothing by doing this silly build. At least at this point. By the end I'm about as strong as any other build. Might be missing a little bit, but the level of stat investment you need just for a tiny little bit more damage off of anything really is. We're doing fine for ourselves. Bit more arcane and a tiny bit more damage on the sword and a little bit more vitality. We have 21 more points. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We are quite strong. And to be fair, the fact that silly builds like this are actually work out quite well in the end. Especially in Bloodborne where there are fewer stats or in Elden Ring where the game's just so much longer that you get to a much higher level naturally. 
a lot of mods kind of try to counteract that. At least there's this one mod called Elden Ring Reforged that makes it so that stat scaling actually goes pretty high, even up to 99, to discourage you from doing more generous builds. Which is definitely better game design in the end, probably, but I don't know, actually. I don't know. Given the fact that respects are pretty available, probably is, but eh, it is what it is. I like the I like the way things are right now because it suits the silly way way that I play. So let's avoid this giant flaming boulder. Really, it seems more like a ball of straw, but who's counting? Okay, and more blood vials. Let's just. Hmm. Me. Okay, we got this guy over here. Oh, and he's very nearly dead, but not quite dead yet. Blood vial and silver bullet. Okay, ritual blood. It is interesting that it seems like a lot of the dungeon is constrained to the side areas, because I think part of that is making it so that if you just want to, at this point, rush the final boss, kind of can do that. That said, every little area we go through is... Oh, it's one of these big gardens. It's gotten... This floor is very wide open. You can... The more enemies I beat up, the more levels I'll have, the more damage and the more health I'll have for... final bosses, and I will... I would not decline that if I had the ability to choose it. Exactly. It's all for your personal gratification. Yours and no one else's. Okay. Definitely not mine. It's over here. I think this is the... I, I never really noticed the pattern, but I'm pretty sure that the different doors indicate different things, so I think this might be... What is this room? The way to the lever? Maybe. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's a weird looking elevator here. And. Yep, nothing. Wait, what? There's a chest in the wall? Woeful treasure. Literally. It's no sense. That may have been the weirdest thing I've seen in the entire game. Invisible treasure chest in the wall. Okay, so... Yeah. And that was... Truly nightmarish and eldritch. So before we go down here, I want to see, is there... One of those cage elevators we can use to... Get down the side? It does not really seem like that, so I think we'll need to take that elevator down to get... To the lower level. Or somebody just... Smacking things about inside the walls, and I don't like that. I just dodge that, and just one, two, three. Yeah, that did kill. Then, bullets. But who is scraping about inside the walls? Somebody is literally living in my walls. Actually, maybe more accurately, Queen Yarmin's walls. So, hmm. Either way, before the final boss fight, I will pop all of that King Cold blood to try to get another level or so. That made more sense than it should have. Goofy. Good joke, actually. I liked it. How are we gonna go and... Hmm. Down here. A rare compliment. Don't get used to it. Then... So what is down here? Oh, there's... He's... Oh, and a... Oh, those, those guys show up in here? That is new to me. Okay. Well, alright. We gotta find a way to get these guys. One. Two. What? I keep forgetting how they can. That sucked. If you get close, they'll just. basically cast combustion on you and. one tap you in most cases. That is. pretty lame. <laughs> Oh, let's not make that mistake again. 
Either way, we're gonna have to wait for that. Do I see someone? No. For that boulder again. Fun. Yeah, it. Those guys are annoying. What I should have done is use the charged poke, because that would have gotten him from range, and I think that would have hopefully worked better. We'll see. Hmm. Either way, either way, we're it's back to the same spot, so shouldn't be that bad. Didn't have that many blotticas when we died anyway, so I can't imagine we lose much. Wait, what? How did... My running did not work like I would have liked it to. Hmm. Okay. Either way, plenty of bullets to use my funny L2 attack. The big poke. Which is remarkably similar to Holy Boy Charge R2. So I will simply... Go and... Hopefully stab those dudes before... Something worse happens. In that case, in that case, go on, drop down, and go kind of midway for that. And then, and then, let me just go over and poke, poke, and. Okay, that didn't quite work as intended, but it worked pretty well, though. Hi, hello. And then just get the. Uh huh. At least do this from long range, which is good. But. The fact that, that luckily the tracking is kinda uh, bad, kinda, uh, but it, oh, uh, what in the, I think two of them makes it nearly impossible, that is so lame, just, what in the, what am I supposed to, you're kidding, what in the, okay, they clearly, they can stand up, clearly the only way I can really deal with them is a plunging attack. I need to get the element of surprise, because if there are two of them, there's no real way to approach. Hmm. Well, that's something. I guess it's fitting for the final dungeon. What man? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, but I also managed to get... I got a bow billet from leveling up the fountain all the way to 50. And there was also a random claymore billet in one of the areas, one of the new areas, which was really, really cool. But the big thing is, is that I got one more bow billet, I used it to get Linny's craftable bow that I use on Linny all the way to R5, which should make him a little bit stronger for... Abyss on Sunday. We'll see. Hmm. Just wanna... See how strong Arlequino will get on that Chevros team, which should be a little bit weaker, probably, but... Not that much. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I can look forward to that. It'll be like you never quit. So... Down here is... Let's just plunge onto these guys. Okay, we got one of them. One of, did we get one of them? Did we get one of them? Kinda, kinda. Okay, we got both of them. That's good. Oh, but wait, what? Sound attack, sound attack. Don't like that. And just dodge it. Can we... One... Oh, and we managed to... Okay, even hitting them from behind while they're doing their job works to... make them... not get knocked over. Okay. And... We're we gonna. Okay, you have my blood of this. The righteous damage bonus on this is really good. So it does do extra damage to these guys because they are technically cane hurts. So. What are we gonna get over there? Oh, I. I don't know. Are we actually gonna start, start placing bats? We could. Oh, but... Hmm. I'm just gonna reach. Remember, trap. Oh, because normally you might just drop down here. Okay. Interesting. This is... Okay, it's not anything at all. Hello, hello. Stab. Then again. Stab. 
then let's just shame that. Stab and stab. And one more quick attack. Thank you, thank you. Nice. That was fun. Just corpse. Oh, oh, for the... Yeah. I remember that. Oh, with a crossbow. And did that... Did that explode? No, I think they just shot a rock. Okay. Hmm. Let's just... Go and... Well, what did we even... Bounce off of that tree? That was... Weird. Okay, well, whatever. Another one, and one more hit. Thank you. Cool. That attack's so good. Such a good attack. And then, you're over there with a... Oh, please. One, two, and... Mm -hmm. And... Come up. Come up. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna deal with the dogs and those shooters at the same time. It's not fun. Okay, we need to settle away that. So you can see, I think it had a slight homing. Don't like that. One, two, three. Well... The term of art technically is ragdoll, because they're like, dolls made of rags, as the name might suggest. So how do I, hmm, go up here from that staircase, right, it's the way down, and then, where is, is that over there, but that way would have been the way to, the other pit, so to speak, the lure is effective. Mm hmm. What are we gonna. This should lead to. Under the elevator, so if anything's here, we can check. Nothing but inquisitiveness. Well, we are inquisitive. Are there enemies, or. Are there, there aren't even enemies here. That is interesting. Well, it could have been a way to skip those flame tossers, so. Hmm. Where is my. Whoever gonna be. That eel is actually huge. I should have expected this for the arguable final chalice dungeon, but hmm. still kinda crazy. And then what is he mining? I guess you could maybe assume it well actually no, because blood shards and rocks, they form in cold blood, so they're entirely biological in nature. You couldn't mine them if you wanted to. Okay, well whatever. And, see what you draw. And tempering damp blood gem. Give me more. Hmm. Yeah, but. So yesterday I was going around in Sea of Yore, which is essentially the capital of Remoria from Fontaine. And I will still never get over it. I find it so hilariously cool how. It's just such a weird. It's a weird pun relating to real mysticism, because the entire deal is that it's a pun both off of Remus and La Maria, which is the theoretical sunken content continent that was theorized as the origin of lemurs originally, to explain why they were on multiple unconnected continents before people came up with the idea of continental drift. But it was also a big part of the theories of Theosophy with Helena Blavatsky and later Steiner's Anthroposophy, which got more uncomfortable. But, oh, and another Watcher, but this one is naked, as one does. Okay, and, but also just off of Remus, as in Romulus's brother, this sort of Rome is done by Remus. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of cool references if you know what to look for. Then, come on, one, two, and and what's very interesting is that some people went deep into the sort of connections between Fontaine War and also just Greater War in the game and the AA, which was Alistair Crowley's order of for his weird sort of quasi-religion witchcraft system of Thelema. Which, one of the ideas behind the AA, one of their quotes is, every man and woman is a star, is in literally a astronomical star, which 
works decently with oh okay rolling attack i don't like that i really don't like that that is kind of kind of bad okay i gotta get into a better position to fight him not behind one of those carriages which wait did he he got stuck inside one of the cages i will show zero mercy okay so how are we gonna can we get you stuck inside one of the no no let's see market seven Roll forward and roll back. I don't like that. What are we gonna... What are we gonna do? We gotta use terrain to our advantage. But just... It's like chubby Sonic the Hedgehog. What is this guy even doing? Come on, just... And... Stay with, what? What? Oh, please. Gotta... Such an annoying... Annoying dude. What are we gonna... Just, okay, right, okay, so if we beat that instead of the roll, we'll be fine. Okay. Nibbly them how? Then, okay. Repenting in what sense? Did he become a born-again Christian or something? Is that even a thing in Italy? Can't imagine there are a lot of Protestants there. And, okay, one more, one more, and goodbye, funny rolling guy. Maybe that's why he was completely naked. So he could roll more smoothly. Okay. But, it's just boom and... Okay, one more, one more. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you know, if it's true, good for him. You know, trust but verify, as they say. Let's go back to our lamp and get probably one level up. Can't imagine. Don't think we can get to. Oh, oh. I think you might have mentioned it before. Yeah, that. There, there are certain texting styles which, independently of anything else, are just kind of annoying. Okay. Yeah. But. Hmm. What am I gonna? Something about- oh, but essentially given the whole deal with constellations determining people's fates, some people have speculated that- well, actually, it's me. Me speculating that that might be either- the other came with, up with it afterwards, or originally were sort of, yeah, we want a bit of Crowley in here. Which, given that the lore itself is generally based off of Gnosticism, Getting other sort of weird occultisms involved is not out of the question, but it's a fun choice. Okay, so Quicksilver Bullets use a little bit more for... Probably for one more level up. Could get a little bit more strength before going to fight the boss, maybe? We'll see. I just want to figure out, is there going to be another side area before Headless Bloodletting Beast? Let's see. And it... Let me see. It does appear like there is. Yeah, this is... This is the side area dungeon. So it seems. Go back and do a quick... Well, that's not... It's not speculation. It's... She's explicitly... A scion of the Crimson Moon Dynasty and quote about the Cinder of Two Worlds. Well, it's because it's Paraware, which is very similar to the name of that book, Paranary. It's it's interesting. Okay, either two. There we go. Okay. We'll just keep on going. Then go over here. What I wonder is whether Holy Blade might do more damage with these physical gems. That's sad. Yeah, well, it makes sense. You know, you literally don't even play the game anymore. Can't imagine you would. Okay. Yeah, getting to level. Getting close to level 200 if we haven't hit it already. Right now we're at 181. 
61 blood it goes right now. Let's go through and go through this other side area. Hmm. Then, what should I... Hmm. That gun on the back. It is interesting how the gun gets a lot bigger when it's holstered. Actually, it... Actually, it doesn't. It just is that big. Never mind. Either way... And one, two... Okay. What else is... Let's keep on checking. How much more is there going to be in this part of the dungeon? Hmm. Doesn't seem too extensive. Which is good, because... This floor has already been kind of oversized to begin with. Okay, well, whatever. One, two... It's that bit over there, and... that ladder. Okay. One, two... I wonder how much more damage of any of this will deal. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that Strike works better on... One works better on these Scorpions anyway, so... Okay, cool. Hmm. Dirty damn bludgeon. Let's just, yeah, go through here. Actually, before that, I'll... Let's see how much there is in total. So, two entrances over here and a ladder over that way. It's a bone marrow ash. Then there's... Okay, so that's all. And there's nothing over here. Of course, there are all these... Locked off walls that could have been... Ways through in a different layout. How do I want to tackle this? So this? Okay. Down here there's... Well, that's weird. Is this a drop down or what? Oh, no, it's... Okay, so this is going to be a flaming boulder. Doesn't seem like it, but it might end up coming at me. Unexpected. Well, I wouldn't particularly like that. Let me finish them off. Okay, well, there's more over here from Cold Blood. Then, give me a little bit more Patrol Blood and Fire Paper. It's a blast from the past, kinda. So, let's go over here. Oh well. And we can just let you get. Hit by the giant swinging axe blade, and okay, well, touching the face of it also deals damage to me. That was not pleasant. And oh, over here there's something. Probably just ritual materials. Oh, another treasure room with. Oh, hi there. Hello. Interesting. Big watcher. Then. Well, we can just keep looking, but. It's. I cannot imagine that. There'd be much in here that'd be all that useful for me. Okay, cool. And then just... Poke you again, and poke you again. Thanks. Poke you one more time. Will that kill? Yep, it will. A small, slight increase in damage from that level of strength was just enough to make that a... Oh, hit kill. Cool. More ritual blood. And... It really is just... Okay, red jelly. A lot of stuff in here. Yeah, to be fair, I guess it does make sense, given that you could do Eyes Chalice as your last and have this be your second to last, maybe, or even, I don't know. Depends on whether you go through all of Loran or just ailing Loran first. So the fastest way to get through here would just be to go down and connect to that other entrance, I assume, and then up that ladder, and then it's time to try finding headless bloodletting. So, so... Which one? I remember hearing that there was some kind of kart racer that people were mentioning in connection to Sonic Roboblast, which was a game actually made in the Doom engine. The kart racer or Roboblast... Well, the big thing is that I heard that people thought that SRB2 Kart 
which was a kart racer game mode for Roboblast, was still better. Even if it wasn't a dedicated kart racer, so to speak. But I don't know whether there's direct connection? I don't know. In the end, I'd probably rather just emulate the Saturn and play Sonic R. Oh, and there you are. Cool. I do actually... Oh. I got Sonic Frontiers a while ago, and I do want to play it eventually. Also, the Generations remake with Shadow in it also seems cool. So, let's... Go running, see how far we can... Oh, okay, so we have to use this as an alcove to survive. Okay, cool. If we're to go, go down again, maybe? Eh, we can, we can make it. Okay, so let's avoid that trap. And there's something in here. Hmm. Interesting. It's just... Old Hunter's Mark, Silver Bullets, and... Actually, a lot of things. <laughs> Is it just called a racer? The Yellow Backbone... I don't... I'm pretty sure you only need that for... Making... Cursed and Defiled Chalices. I mean, for adding... Curses to Chalices, which I'm not... Particularly interested in doing. So, we can just... Go back, we can't level up right now. And Oh, we actually have... We have full vials of bullets, so... Just go flank the boss now. Okay. Okay, well... Either way, I did hear about it. In fact, I did. But, oh no, that's not the right spot. We can just, we can just go back. I've seen everything in the side branch. And then, yeah, it'll be... Went through Eel, and then... Queen Yarnum. Dr. Robotics Ring Racers. Okay, okay, yeah. It sounds familiar. Just go down and think this guy some nothing but beasts here. Should make some blood bullets that I'm gonna be using. Stab attack. Giant beast bolt is effective. Pretty sure it isn't actually. Blood letting beast and okay, you're over. Oh this one is huge. Dodge it. Okay, cool. What if I... Oh, you're fast. Don't like that. Just let me... Dodge it. Oh, what? Okay. Mm. Alright. Hmm. Now this... Guy is pretty hated, if I recall correctly. Headless blood lighting. Oh, and rapid poison bugs. Come on. It... It's something. Okay, that... That wind-up is... Not great. Just dodge and dodge and dodge and dodge and dodge and... Can I just stab it? What? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it used up the bullet, but we didn't even get to land the attack. Okay, well... Hmm. This is... Quite tough. I should definitely be playing on the bottom. Okay, so just... Slash it. Well, alright. Okay, so only the projectile hit that time. That is... Unpleasant. So just... Well, alright. Have to be actually behind them. Well, okay. So you're incredibly mobile. Just cannot dodge it, dodge it. Well, all right. Dodge. Okay, so that didn't even hit. Weird. Hmm. Okay. Just dodge it, dodge it. Okay. Not. Okay. Thanks. Hmm. And what in the? The fact that the. Ah. Oh. That is... very strange. I might need to try using Ponitrus or something. Maybe. Actually, I should just... go for normal or ones. That's what I should be doing. If... Oh, well, alright. Well, of course. It allows you to get behind them and hopefully attack with impunity. But you know, it's always easier said than done. One of... Mm, might break a limb or... What? Okay. It's certainly something. What did he say? What did Kakashi say? Hit them in the butt? Hmm. Now this... This is tough. Actually, that roll is... I'm gonna have to be really... hit a run with this. 
super technique of hitting them in the butt. Okay. Dodge it. Now this, this is going to be a battle of attrition. Dodge it. One, two, or not. Hmm. Just dodge. And one. Okay. Huh. That's tough. And just... Well, okay. Oh, well that... That's called Concho. Oh, okay, I just checked. Okay. Yeah, he looks like... Does look similar. Plus in Boots. Boots, Death. Bloodborne. Wolf with a trick weapon. Oh, oh, so actually those are... A fist that turn into a... Trick weapon. Okay. Well. So bloodletting beast. Bloodletting beast. It's a weak. It's bloodletting beast. It is... Okay, it's weak to arcane and fire. Hmm. I could try... You know what? You know what? Given how annoying it is to hit... It might be Boomhammer time. <laughs> might be. Might be your lucky day. Okay. Just gotta see what gems do I have on here right now. Stop, hammer time. Anti Q gems and gem fortification. Take that off this. It's just actually. No, no, no. 17, 16, 15. That's all I remember. 7. Oh, Hajime Mashtenshi! King Boy 88. I am. Playing Bloodborne right now. We are doing our best to finish up the game. So stand the cost and skin down and can I just? We're trying to find headless and bloodletting beasts, and as of right now, I <laughs> it's some trouble. So I'm switching tactics to trying to use Boom Hammer again to do a little bit more fire damage, and the hitbox is really weird, so it's... the increased AoE of Boomhammer should hopefully be useful for me. We'll see what happens. It's the goal right now. Because we're working through Great Tamaru Eel Chalice, or Tamaru Eel, as the tooltip says. Yeah. I'll be starting Dark Souls 3 next weekend, probably? I'll be finishing Bloodborne today, and my goal is to get through all the main FromSoft games, fantasy-wise, before Elden Ring's DLC comes out, and I start my playthrough of Elden Ring. Big question is, of course, if, where, when, and how I fit in Demon Souls, because I don't have a PS5, so I'd either have to emulate PS3 or borrow from a friend. We'll see. So just let me... Get and get and hmm. Let me check this out. Let me get this blood stain real quick and just So actually staying unlocked and dodging is probably the best way to do this. Dodge and slam the hammer and Okay, good, good. Well hmm. That's tough. Tough for real. So how do I wanna that's actually not doing that much more damage than that L2, but it's hitting a lot more easily, but I don't wanna Oh, well, hmm. Okay. So the attack's good. But I'm gonna have to do a bunch of these to survive. That is... some trouble. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh -huh. That's what my life has become. Fighting... these guys. I will say, though, Queen Yarnum actually is weakest to fire. So it would, in theory, be possible to use use Boomhammer on her, maybe. That's fair. But, 
Let's see. Just gotta keep on run. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Hmm. Let me dodge it. Hammer up it. Okay, good, good. And just. Hmm. Okay. Where are we gonna. Just dodge it. Dodge it. Annoying. Dodge and swing around it. Blast, blast, and blast. And where are we gonna- Oh, please. How many of these can we land? Just dodge it. And slam slip. Well, what? You're kidding. What? Okay. Alright. That is... Troublesome. Okay. It might- I might end up going back to Hulk Moonlight, actually. There's a decent chance. Because I think I'll only really be able to go for quick R1s in between slams. Maybe. We'll see. It's tough. What if I. What am I doing? What am I doing? So then, oh, okay. Just dodge it. Okay, can we? Okay, that worked. Kinda. Just gotta roll through, get to the end, and come on, just slam, slam, and there we go. Roll. And, hmm. This is kinda working, as long as I make sure to get behind instead of just below the leg. And can we? Yeah, that. This is doing alright. This is working okay. I haven't taken damage yet. It's actually not what my life has always been, because I wasn't able to play Bloodborne until recently. And what is... okay. Hmm. Boom. Slam it. Movement frame. Thank you. This is actually doing... alright. It's gonna not waste our vials, and... Okay. Cool. Slam. And the AoE on that is very helpful. So just roll, roll, and... can we... Slam it. Boom. Well, alright. That was a bit risky, but if it works, it works. Okay. So just roll and slam through and boom. Nice. Good damage and just... What can we do? What can we do this way? Well, you're behind, weirdly enough. That is interesting. Well, alright. Hmm. Well, okay. Can't afford to lose too much in the way of health. So just... Well, alright, and... Okay. Get in, get in, and just swing, swing. Yep, final foot slam is decent enough to counter. Okay. Yeah, this. Hammer in this beast. I love it. Boom, thank you, and. Well, alright, and. Oh, please. And oh, and oh, worm! Nice. Okay, cool. Just dodge it, and. Okay, cool. Can we. Boom! Alright, no, no, no. Please just dodge and can we Okay, nice. Roll and what are you gonna do now? What kind of attack are you even gonna use? Dodge and dodge and slam the foot and counter that. Okay. This actually is could be a lot worse. And crush. Okay, dodge. This the question is, what is that worm gonna do? What is the worm gonna do? He's just like me, infest with the worm. Well, okay, that didn't hit the leg. Come on. Dodge, dodge, it. slam. Thank you. Okay, that hit. Good. Oh, just dodge, dodge, it. Good slam. Thank you. Cool. Exactly. One of my kind. A giant hairy thing infested with worms. Okay, boom. Well, that didn't hit. Come on. Just gotta. Oh, and okay, the worm can bite at close range. Okay, well, oh, okay. Gotta get closer because the timing on that is. You're kidding me! Ah, oh, we were so close. Okay. Annoying. It's just. No, it's. I, I think that stream bullying is. It's kind of normal at this point. It's par for the course. 
danger of the territory. Let's see something. Among other things, I actually need to... Forgot to put through my expeditions. I've got to condense some resin real quick. Okay. Funny way for things to things to end, things to end and stuff. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's a mutual bullying thing. But even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't, I come here to receive abuse. If I was more fragile, I would have no business doing anything on the internet. So, so... Let's try this again. And hello there. Dodge it! Okay, can we... Well, uh, timing on that is... Uh, worms, worms, worms. Let's get this... Bloodstain. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Dodge it. Well... I don't know, it's... A matter of not wanting to... To I can, oh no, never mind, never mind. I can't do that yet. Just dodge it, dodge and dodge it. Can we slam it? Okay, that hit. Good. Did that kind of stagger? I think it did. Okay, so, give me. Okay. And swing. Good damage. Real good damage. So just dodge. With me. Okay. Oh! Oh wow, that. Okay. Interesting. That hit a lot more effectively than I might have thought. Okay, don't believe me, please. Come on. Can't afford to just go over there and slam and there we go. Kinda okay. Well, alright. Okay, yeah, let's roll that. And then just dodge and dodge and get a stomp or something. Or just miss. Okay. Come on. Dodge and Hammer swing, thank you. Okay, so that transformation attack is probably never going to connect. Dodge and dodge and stop or what? Okay, cool, hit. Good, good. What mm -hmm. one these? One, two, and you're gonna go for the stop. Oh, yeah, I didn't dodge enough. Okay, thank you. And can I? What? Let me get ya. Let me get ya. One, two, and well. Alright. So the ability to just hit me by moving is really annoying. Okay, we got that and gotta heal. Heal up it. Heal up it. Dodge and dodge it. Ah, oh, please. Dodge it. Roll it. Dodge it. Hit, hit, boom. Thank you. Hit right on the non-existent head. Right on the stomp. Dodge it, dodge it. Slam, boom. Thank you. Gotcha in the middle of that. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So the worm should be coming out soon. Let's see. Lunge attack, and... Okay. Hmm. Close. Give me... Give me... Worm, and... Ugh, oh, that dip box is so annoying. Dodge, dodge it. What? What? Okay. Hmm. Just let me... Dodge it. Oh, please. What the... And just roll, roll, and slam. Slam it. Okay, that should be. Right. Worm time. And. Okay. One. And. Oh. Please. Just slam, slam. And. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, please. Give me. Get a rope. Get a rope and. Slam the. Oh, miss. Entirely. Done. Give me two and. Oh, give me. Okay, that kind of worked. Give me a bit more. Two and. Mm. One and. Okay, we dodged that successfully. Good stuff. Dodge it. How aggressive do I. Not that aggressive. Let's just dodge it. Out mm. here. Oh, okay. Fall up with a worm. Okay. Come on, just slam it. Give me. Bit more, and just dodge, dodge, and slam. Oh, what we? Oh, I messed that up. Okay, so that one foot. We're getting close to dodge, and 
slam. Boom, boom. Okay. Just, oh, please. Can't afford to be too greedy with our... Oh, come on. Tough. Two. And this. Oh, okay. And can we just slam with it? Okay, we can kind of... Oh, what? Come on, come on. Only a few more hits needed. Two. And just dodge and... What if we just get with that? Well, kind of work, kind of work. Uh, but we're running out of. Just gotta. What? That attack shouldn't exist. The attack just shouldn't exist. Whatever. Just the fact that if it decides, it'll just punch you from across the entire room. Oh, that is what my life's become. Alright, alright. At least this is probably gonna be my biggest roadblock. You can kinda cheese Queen Yarnum if you wanna. She's pretty staggerable among other things, so. Well, I'm not losing my mind, and if I was, it wouldn't be slow. It's just how much. Hmm. Six, because uh, maybe once I get down to fewer blood vials, I'll stop going for the fully charged attacks. Because the fully charged ones, the damage increase they deal is pretty meaningful. It is worth going for them when I can land them. So just dodge, dodge. Okay. Then just dodge and. Slam, slip! Unless that happens. Okay. Cool. And thank you. What a good attack. And slam, slip. Okay, cool. What if I. Well, it's just so obnoxious that it can do that. Just dodge, dodge, and slam, slam with it. What? Ah. Are you kidding? Okay, what if I. Well, never mind. If you just jump back, you can avoid that. Come on, just dodge it. Well, hmm. don't like that slam. Okay, we're just gonna go for normal heavies. I can't afford to try fully charging. And just... Yeah, that... The damage is okay. Actually, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let me just... Uh, it's... It's tough. Give me hard to decide which attack to use, and nothing hit. Two, okay. mm -hmm. one, two, and uh, what? One, two. I should probably just dodge into that. Into your big sweeping. What? Dodge timing is unforgiving on that. What can I do? What about? You're kidding. Really? Just go for the... Oh. I guess maybe I have to only roll, eh? But I can't actually try to roll into that because it's got a window in the box. I could see that. Wouldn't I could roll. Just dodge to the side instead of dodge. Or I have to dodge between the legs, maybe? Possibly. Oh, what? It's just... So big, it's the worst part. And not if you just stupid. Go to hell already. Uh, just what are you doing? And just don't jump away at that. And but the main thing is just the fact that it can stagger you just by moving. And hmm. one, two. If it just moves through you during an attack, you can't do anything. Yeah, see? It uh, will interrupt your attack just by moving. But, okay. Two and... So actually, just... I don't imagine I can actually afford to go for Fully Church Heavies at all, aside from very specific openings. Okay. Hmm. Should still work, but still... It's... Okay. Cool, and... That didn't hit. Weird. Stodge. And... Thank you. 
We could have gone for a fully charge, but it's whatever, really. Just the time, time. Swing. Well, we're not. Come on. Just dodge and swing. What the? What? Oh. Huh. This. It's hard. Dodge. Slam. Okay, that worked. Okay. Worm should be coming out now. Nice, we got that. And worm coming, worm coming. And boom, one more. Nice. Okay. Might be able to get this done then. Slam it. Okay. Hmm. The more I just try to hit. And okay. Running away in that case might have been the better idea. Oh, oh please. Just give me one, two, and slam. Alright, okay. Cool, heal. Heal and dodge it. Well, oh, what in the please. Just continue your attacks for more and for what? Dodge it. Dodge it. Oh. Please, just what in the what in the Oh. Come on. What am I even supposed to do to you? Dodge, dodge. And we, okay, we can hit there. Come on, just dodge. Okay. Dodge away rather than towards or anything. Just dodge, dodge, slam, slam the. Can we hit the worm any specially or what? Just dodge, dodge. Well, that kind of worked. Kind of. And, oh. Dodge. Slam. Okay, what? Oh, please. Dodge. What can we do? What can we even do to you? If we just... A few more regular hits should hopefully make stuff work, but... Oh, please. Can we... Bam. Slam. Bam. And dodge. Okay. One more hit. Could do it. One, two, and boom, boom. Oh, good... Stupid. If I dodged twice, it would have worked, but... Is it always the right foot that it stomps with, or does it change which foot it stomps with when it steps back, depending on rotation? It, uh... This boss is specifically hated by a lot of people. It's pretty infamous. It's not unsurprising that we would be suffering against it. It's got a massive health pool, fast, hits like a truck, Long reach on its attacks, it's even got a projectile. And frankly, that weird lunge punch is functionally a projectile, really. Dodge. It's just dodge, and can we... Nice. Whoop. Oh, we actually managed to hit some lingering frames. That's nice. Two, and... We... Okay, so it's always the right foot. So if we sort of roll to our right, it should work a bit better. Okay. Should be able to punish that. Oh, uh, well. Oh, uh, we should have rolled in. And then just dodge. And we. Well. Never mind. And. Cool. One. Okay. Cool. Kinda. Kinda. Alright. Sweep is annoying. One, two, and just swing. Hit. Thank you. One, two. So actually, that attack, if we can reliably get it, probably be our one, two, most punishable. Thank you. Yeah, just go in and one, oh, well, wow, all right. Hmm. Just look at that. Just, what are you going to do? One, two, and slam. Thanks. Go to our right. That worked. Okay. One, two, and slam. Thanks. Gotcha. Just, what are we gonna do? We walk. Okay. Timing on that is kind of tough, but we're all right. One, two, and can we slam or what? No, uh, we can damage. That is one, two, let's heal. Heal again, actually. Get a set of possible one shot range. And roll, roll, and roll. And slam, can we? Whoa, kind of. Well, alright. It's kind of a mistake. Dodge it. Two, three, and one more sweep. Thanks. Just 
What are you gonna do? Roll and thank you. Slam. Okay. Thanks. Dodge, dodge. Slam. Okay. One, two. Okay. And that's coming out now. And cool. It's a shame we can't visceral them anyway. Okay. What we got? Oh, okay. That works. Roll and well, all right. Just gotta dodge and ah, see that slam attack. One, two, and okay, nice. How do I? Okay. Oh, what? Okay, please, please, just don't kill me. One, two, three, and sweep. Okay, just get that back. Dodge and dodge and ah, what? It's annoying, annoying. Dodge it. What? I've gotten so aggressive. One, two, and slam. Okay. Cool. Interesting. So we'll just try that again. What are you gonna. One. Two, oh, please. Dodge. Dodge. Go in for a big hit. Cool. One, five, six, two. It's not expecting that. Okay. We'll just do that and bio up. Let's just. Dodge and okay. So if we if we're good with the timing, that's actually a pretty punchable attack. Dodge and three and dodge. And cool. Punchable two. Thanks. Well, didn't like that slam. Okay. So getting down to it. Should be able to make this work. Dodge and well, okay. We gotta be gotta be moving a bit more for that to be punchable and cool. Boom and oh, we gotta we gotta roll one more time. Okay, just go for that and can we boom? Okay, just dodge and what are you gonna do? What are you, what are you gonna do? Just one, two, and slam, boom. Okay, one more slam should do it. We can manage it, we can manage the fight. Come on, just dodge it. One more slam, one more slam, boom! Goodbye, bloodletting beast. Leave you to the worms. Mario root channel, let's heavy tamp blood jam. Let's do a chunk. Okay, well, worked down the end. Just had to. It really is all about just learning the attacks. And figuring out what to do. I wonder if. I think it could be fitting to use Boom Hammer against Queen Yarnum. And, okay, another side area. Let's go for a quick level up before that happens. And probably... It's a fun weapon to use on bosses, but... For regular fights, I think I'd prefer to be using Holy Moonlight. There's one thing with Holy Moonlight is the fact that it has a decent range event without being totally slow. Room Hammer is a decent, even better range, but it's a lot slower and has its downsides. It's not a perfect weapon by any means. Let's get a bit of... something. That would be... a bit of skill. Okay. Also, the scaling's just better. So, I will... do a bit of repairing and... Well, that's because... your set of preferences is not entirely the best weapon. It's the most am amusing and entertaining weapon, which sometimes means one that kills me. So... Our interests may be a little at odds sometimes. It is what it is. So that would be 804 AR. It's wild. By the way, I'm gonna take a very... Holy Moonlight's pretty dramatic too. Not as though. I gotta take a quick bathroom break, I'll be right back.
back. Time for the final layer of Tamari Eel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A bit of insight, but nothing to really do with it. Just kind of sitting. It's kind of kind of got a blood rock, and frankly, there isn't really even a weapon I really want to upgrade right now. The one that kills you when you go take a break. Oh, Chica Gay, yeah. I like that one. It's a good one. Either way, I'm gonna need to farm more golems to level up Arlequino's side. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's a cool weapon, undeniably. There is is Evelyn at it's a plus six. That's that I don't really use the guns anymore. Okay. Too too brain dead to parry right now. Let's go on this side area. And then for a few more level ups. A few more level ups. And yeah, if we get strength and skill to forty, we should be able to just Utterly obliterate everything in endgame. We'll see. But yeah, being able to clear out everything at the end is nice. Oh, this is... Hello, Bath Messenger. What are you going to sell? This is... Oh, you're going to sell... Lost Holy Moonlight Sword. That is something I need eventually. That said, I can just come back here. Just come back here and buy stuff later. So I've got more Blaticos to burn. For now, I'll just take the Sinister to Mariel Root Chalice. Especially a woman who assumed the name of the Classical Roots. Which would be Queen Yarnum. There is... Oh, hi there, hello. One, two, three, four. Cool, I had a quarter thumb more. Okay. So a little bit over here. King Cold Blood. Something down below, so I'll need to go down. So what is over this way? What is... Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay. One, two, three. And just slice up these statues. Okay. Oh, and up... Oh, okay. There's another one of these wide open areas. Suit yourself. Okay. Give me a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. But either way, I actually really should. Hopefully, have gainful employment soon, which should hopefully mean a new model. But we'll see. Hmm. And then through there is something else. And then. And then. Huh. Quicksilver bullets and some more. Uh, oh, a great one, cold blood. That's the idea, yeah. Great one, cold blood, and cosmically nightmarish blood echoes. Relic containing the blood echoes of a great one. You see, again, cosmically nightmarish blood echoes. Like a true revelation, this uncanny relic defies understanding. Hmm. In the end, it's just blood but blue. Okay. So is that... I think that might be the only one in the base game. The only great one, Cold Blood. So I don't remember finding any in any late game or DLC areas. Hmm. Yeah, but the question is just... What it'll look like. That's the thing. Gotta... See what people would want and appreciate. Despicable family. So that would be another watcher. Or what? And okay, we're close. Silver bullets. Down there is. Oh, we can. Okay, it's not a drop down. It's an actual staircase. Okay, passable. Three hits does it, and then. 
that. Hi, hello. Funny sword. I like their daggers. In an actual Souls game, they would have been droppable. Better or worse than here. How are we gonna... It's a roller guy. Actually, well, if we had been smarter, we could have tried to... Hmm, try to visceral him. Probably would have been the best idea, but whatever. In the end, it'll be alright. Oh, so we can just use the staircase to try to get around him, maybe? Maybe. Well, let's get you one more time when you stand up. Or not. Hmm. Hello there. Hi. Well, goodbye, goodbye. I won't miss you. Okay. Temporary damn blood jam. How much more in here? There are a couple of items to pick up. Oops, over bullets. And great one cold. Another great one cold blood. Okay. Not complaining. So I guess this is sort of the treasure for going through the bonus dungeon. Makes sense. Well, oh, okay. Let's not die. Let's not die. And just hit. Thank you. And blood vial. Is this gonna be ritual blood or a gem or what? Interesting. Okay. Let's see what's in here. This is gonna be two yellow backbones. Okay. On Moto GP. That's me endlessly yapping. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Uh, back when I was in choir, there was this one song. I never did it. I never did the solo for it, but it was called The Auctioneer. And the entire gimmick of the song is that it was... A lot of it was less of a song and basically more auction calling. So a couple of people did it and they would have to show off their fast auction talking. It was pretty funny. But it was... Okay, okay. Also, it's a pretty catchy song, too, with a lot of fun barbershop smut style very nasally kind of smeared kind of kind of crooning harmony it was a fun song so yeah yeah it was hmm. i'm glad that i did choir even if i haven't really seriously sung in a while and just can i let's kick you down kick it kick you let's make you drop or okay cool Oh, but I fell too? Weird. Okay, alright. Dodge it. Well, okay, whatever. And just... But I fell too? Did I... Did I fall because of the kicking I did, or was it something else? That is... Certainly something. Let's just use this torch to... Should lead out to that garden area. Well, sirens can only be female. That's the thing. And... Just Okay, so... Let's keep on going. Well, they don't sing, and also mermen are generally considered to be ugly ugly. Which, I don't think would particularly work well for me. For a number of reasons. I'm not sure people would, people would like that. For what? It's true. Generally speaking... Oh, but there was... A wandering madness here that... Well, I'm gonna... I miss that, I miss that. Dom, dom, dom. Okay, well, we can get one more level. That's alright. Then just go down the... ladder again. Gonna murder me for what? Insulting mermen? I didn't know you were such a big fan of mermen. That's sad, and that's sad. Nothing should surprise you at this point. Well, I'm not smug about it. At, at least I try not to be. If I were more smug, you might be... That might be more accurate. Okay. A bit more blood tinge, a little bit more... Came to the next level up. Okay. Back to Tamiru Eel. There three. Okay. Well, either way... I'm gonna feed you to the worms. You can join them. Let me get some water. Uh. 
More worms. It's always worms. The worms never end. Uh, it's just... Oh, this was... So that's where the actual area is. Right, we need to go back. The side path. Okay. I mean, that great one, Cold Blood, Cold Blood was nice. Didn't, I wonder if... Great one... Cold Blood... Let me see. Cosmically nightmarish. A couple ones in Great Tamiriel Chalice, but all the others are Root Chalice ones. Okay, and it gives you 40,000 Blood Echoes, which is about a sixth of a level up at this point, but it's not like I'd be complaining. Well, I kind of am, but not really. Only a little bit. Oh, we missed that. King Cold Blood 12. And then, go down and fight that other Temerian? Where is he? I know I heard them somewhere. So where'd they go? Oh, or did they come from the hallway? I think they might have, yeah. Okay, cool. Hi, hello. One, two, three. Yep, this is, this is our guy. Oh, what, what, what? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, just, why is this guy so durable for no reason? It's so weird. There's a wandering madness over there. Let's just cut off these guys first. And right, there's one more a little bit. Okay, so, screwing beast, we should go over and slice it up before anything else happens. One, two, three. Okay, cool. And then... And bring down Blood Gem. We could probably go for a Visceral on that guy. Might want to, actually, even if it would mean a Blood Arthur showing up. Just so that... Mm -hmm. Silver Bullets. Just to dispatch him fast, and to just... actually get a Visceral on something for the first time in... five billion years. Okay. Let's just... put him close, and see how much damage this does. And boom, and oh well, that didn't work. Okay, alright. Oh, okay, okay. Come on. Let's try one of that other guy then. That was embarrassing. Just so weren't close enough to actually activate the visceral animation. Let's just go over and try that. Sneak up. And boom, and can we. Let's see what happens. 2, 4, 6, 7. Okay, cool. Some more bullets. And then, down here we've got... These... Funny guys, which means we can... Oh, alright. Only 460. That is... Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Just gotta see how we can... Oh! 676, and then... If we had... Chicky guy could work okay, but... Oh, it makes me wish I'd actually upgraded Evelyn on Rival. Oh. This Hurricane Haze is not strictly necessary, but... I like these enemies, they're amusing. Okay, so... Oh, well, not if you spin around and do all that. Okay. It's just... Oh, well, alright. What?! What?! Okay, interesting. Actually, actually, the best way to deal with them would be using Bowblade. Right. If I could snipe them with Bowblade, that would probably be a one-shot. Maybe, because they're very, very weak to blood damage. I might kill you. I might actually kill you at this point. So mind yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'll put on Billblade and Thanks. Feeling is mutual. So actually, do I have enough for I hardly have any I wouldn't be able to get another chunk to take it to plus nine. Not that I really need to. Vacation Billblade and just get as much 
physical as possible. Gradual depletion is... We actually have gems on there already. Oh, interesting. Durability down, attack down, kin down. Okay. This is passable. Hmm. So we'll use this on... Use this on those funny space flowers. Let's try that again. Okay. Tough. Yeah, just getting totally blown up by that was not something I expected to happen. Because normally you would use a gun for that, but if you have access to a ranged weapon that deals actual damage, you can do that instead. Yeah, because the damage of my Evelyn should be... Actually, it wouldn't be all that much different except for the fact that I could charge up Bow Blade. Which would be meaningful. So that's... 386 versus... 229. Okay, that's actually... That is meaningfully different. We do almost double damage one way or the other, which would be... A very big help. Hmm. Okay. Well, alright. We can do this. We'll just... Screwing Beast is gone, so it's just a matter of going through and shooting those... Weird magic space insects. What are we gonna... We're gonna do this. And, oh, hello, you're right here. One, two, three, four. And then... Nothing. Keep mm -mm. me... Get more in the way of... Time and damage. Mm -mm. You're in there, hello. One, two, three, four. And not dead. Okay. Oh! Alright. Two funny daggers. Blood vial and who knows what else. Not out of the way of that, and the screwing. What the wandering madness is gone, which is nice. Okay. So the bullets, and should we. Let's go for the visceral in this guy. Just to make sure. Do this as cleanly as possible. And visceral. Will this... Oh, that will kill. Okay. Hmm. Well, alright. Now you're dead. It's positioned just right to not get hit. Good. Okay. One, two... I wonder if those things can even... have a blood stain. I don't know where it show up, because they don't exactly have eyes to... see with. I hear dogs somewhere. Don't quite like that. Hmm. Oh well. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then. Silver bullets. So now we switch to bow blade and we. Start sniping. Okay. And just. Yep! That is a guaranteed one tap. Insane. So it doesn't have range fall off like the gun does. Take advantage of their significant vulnerability to blood damage and head damage. So that is what I should have been doing all along. Okay, cool. So we just cut up the dogs. One, two, and... Bad dog, bad dog. Come on, come on, getting close. What are you doing? Actually, just... Well, never mind. I was going to try to bow boy him, but... Didn't end up working or even being necessary. So, a couple more flowers. Also, gonna end up using bow blade on them. Gotta make sure I don't alert them. Oh, well, okay, cool. Come on, just give me the shoot and scroll. Oh, and did that arrow actually interrupt their fire shot? That is quite nice. Okay, so... How much more and where? I feel as if... There might be another Wandering Madness under these, if there was one up there, maybe. But... Just what else could be around this area in general? That's the question. I'll just... Transform the bow blade in. Will this hit? Yeah, it will. 
what an insane weapon. What do I find a way to walk onto the head and just shoot? Oh, but it didn't quite work. Okay, well, interesting. I don't quite like that. Huh. Okay, so just shoot and we're not. We're not. Oh, what? What? Oh, please. Dodge it. Dodge it. Hit. Hit. Hit and. Okay, that worked. Even with an uncharged shot, I would imagine it should still be a one tap, maybe. Either way, we're dealing with this quite well. Two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, because the vulnerability they have has to be crazy to compensate for the fact that in the base game, the only way you'd really be able to engage them would be gunfire, which a significant fall off when you actually try using it at range. So. Hmm. Well, you know, if it works, it works. Okay, cool. Yeah, just casually dealing. 4,342 damage with pretty bad weapon gems. And a. Oh, and that one comes out of the ground. Fun. Okay. Without really focusing on building blood tinge, and just... Yeah, if it works, it works. Where's the head? I need to... Hmm. Yeah, just... Where's the, where's the head to shoot? Where are we gonna... Yeah, sure. Oh, it's right there. Hi, hello. And... Well, huh. Well, interesting. Could figure out how to... Okay. Alright. What if I just... This work? What did that do? Why are you up there now? Oh, whatever. Not my problem. Hi, hello. Just shoot and... Well, alright. Come on. What? 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 Oh, please. You're annoying. You're annoying. Just shoot and... Yeah, single uncharged shot still. One taps him. Arcane Haze. Arcane Haze. There should be a little more over this way. I love, I love the bow weapon so much. What a ludicrous weapon. Must accept common sense. It's not using... Using your vials when you're close to death, or what? By the way, this was all there really was in here, I imagine. Down here, I'm having a crazy amount of fun. It is an insanely good weapon. It was the only reason I was able to beat Defiled Amygdala. You weren't there, but I was in the Defiled Chalice last time, which is a chalice dungeon where your health is halved. And the enemies are still as strong as normal, and normal means very strong. So, there was a big flaming dog I fought, which was probably by far the worst thing I fought in there. There was also a... First boss was decently easy. I was able to stagger lock it with Chikage. Yeah, the dog was actually the worst. Amygdala was bad too, but a lot of it was me getting greedy, but I mostly just used Bowblade to target the head. And it worked quite well. So we're gonna get a little bit more arcane for... Oh, and that gives two instead of one that time. Then a tiny bit more vitality. And we're gonna go back to Tamaru Eel. Yeah, but we have... A good ranged option and a good melee option here. Decent scaling on different things, so we've got pretty appreciable amounts of strength. I'll just go back to Eel and go for the main body portion of Layer 3 now. Hmm. Drink of water. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. So I'm thinking about the clip I got to make and put out today, and it's going to be... I'm not sure if you were there, but... When I was doing the old Iron King DLC for Dark Souls 2... Oh, the Prospector Olek. Will Queen Killer be here too? I think he should be. The old Iron King DLC, when I was doing everything with just... Bare Fist and Vanquisher Seal, I was... I ran into a player invader who only used their fists. Which was really, really cool, because it meant I got to have 
essentially a boxing match. And I did end up beating them. Which was the best part. Okay, okay, and just check. It's gonna be fun to quip and it shouldn't take too long, so I can catch up on my quip back on. Okay, okay. I I don't think you were, but either way in the end it doesn't make that much difference. Two ends. Okay, throwing Molotovs and entirely missing. Okay, as one does. Okay, please, please, just one. What? Oh, oh my goodness. So still hit me. Come on, just slamming. You are doing a lot of quick stabbing. How do how do we wanna how do we wanna do this? Can we Oh well, pancaked me. Come on, come on. Just give me a little bit more and oh thank you for the for that. Oh. Do not like you, Kirkhammer. Let's just go in and stab, and on wake up, stab again. Thank you. Stab one more time. There we go, cool. And one more stab on wake up, and there we go, cool. We did it. And oh, there's a wandering madness. Let's just one ooh. Not if I can't hit. One, two, three. Another crappy blood gem that we definitely don't need. Time for me to have blood gem again. Yeah. So why do I even kill them at this point other than my own desire for thoroughness and weird principles? Madman Waller, okay, nothing special, and that Tempering Damp Blood Gem, which might be from the Scorpion or from that guy. So there's a, that, a ladder. Got to see how many passageways there are in here. Hmm. It is interesting that they have this game mode, which never have really had any kind of counterpart or repetition in another Souls game. Closest thing would be all the dungeons in Elden Ring. So there are a lot of dungeons which are pretty cool, but most of them are kind of throwaway in the sense of having similar architecture. It's never identical. It's not the kind of thing you procedurally generate like here in Bloodborne, but a lot of people do criticize it for being kind of repetitive and getting kind of monotonous. But a lot of what makes it, in my opinion, a little more tolerable, though to be fair, I didn't do. When I played Elden Ring, I kinda rushed through just to see some of the later game bosses and parts so that I would know what to do when I streamed it myself later. But pretty much every dungeon had at least one unique reward of some sort, which meant that even though they ended up getting kind of repetitive, it was never completely not worth it. There was always something new to find, which to a lot of people was kind of crazy because it meant there were a lot of things which were sort of missable. In that if you didn't go to a certain early dungeon, you could just totally miss out on getting, say, a katana that might be nice to have. It, it was divisive. But at the very least, it was good as a way to make going through the dungeons worth it. And there are a lot of people who hold it up as sort of an alternative to this sort of... Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom style of making meaningful, worthwhile rewards in an open world where you're going to get a lot of stuff and things are going to get diluted after 60, 100 plus hours of game. And I think for Elden Ring it had a bit of an advantage in a number of ways that not only did it just have more weapon types and weapon types that they could carry over behavior from, from earlier titles, where for Breath of the Wild to a lesser extent Tears of the Kingdom, it was entirely new, entirely new untreaded territory for the Zelda team. But, in addition to that, they also just had a lot of weapon models that they could repurpose, either wholesale or just using things that were somewhat similar. Because, for example, I mentioned a Katani could find in an early game dungeon, that would be, for example, the, the Uchigatana, which literally is just a weapon from previous Souls games, all the way back in Demon Souls, and they were able to reuse the model with some changes, if I recall correctly, it was more or less the same weapon. But for Zelda, they did reuse some things in Tears of the Kingdom, a number of things were used, but for Breath of the Wild it was entirely new, so... There are limits to what I can criticize, even if I would still say that I'm more critical of New Zelda, as I'd call it, than most people are. 
It's not to say that I didn't enjoy the games, and I would like to go back and actually clear at least the main storyline of Tears of the Kingdom, given that when I played it, I literally just went straight for Hyrule Castle and then Ganondorf, which was a fun way to play it, and I don't actually regret that, but does mean I missed off on a significant amount of what the game has to offer, objectively. Raises the question of whether I'd be streaming it or not, given that there are a lot of other games to play that are, you know, new and interesting. I don't know. Maybe if I run out of stuff, but... Either way, on my own time or on stream, I would like to clear that out eventually. Okay, this central area is a bit smaller. So I guess the inevitable side area before the boss is going to end up picking up the slack. Well, that's the thing, is that I probably wouldn't be dying all that much, given that I've gone through and fought the final boss, gotten stronger weapons, stronger materials, just more game knowledge, more skill, and it's an easier game than Souls to begin with. If you get armor and you upgrade that armor, you can be, if not entirely unkillable, at least significantly more durable. So... I don't know, I don't know. Oh, sure, but it wouldn't be nearly as common as in Souls games, so... Lord knows what kind of interest you take. A little bit more stamina and a little bit more strength. Good bit more damage on the sword, so... Now, we are getting only three level ups away from having 40 in every stat. And part of that is definitely helped by the fact that we have only six stats as compared to eight in Dark Souls and Elden Ring, and nine in Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3. Which I need to keep repeating so I don't forget that there are three stats in Dark Souls 3, which I forgot for a while, so that means that things are going to get really silly build-wise, because I'm going to have to build block and it will hardly help me at all. I guess it could help for... I will have to do a bit of Covenant item grinding. The Covenant grind is... Not as bad as it is in Dark Souls 2, so I'll probably end up trying to show off some Covenant stuff. Okay, but is there a side area here or not? There might not be. Let's see. Okay, and... Okay, there isn't a side area before the boss. So we're just going to go straight in and fight Queen Yarnum. Summon Queen Killer! Okay, so he does show up here. So it's time for us to take on Queen Yarnum, the final secret boss of, El of Bloodborne. Hmm. wonder how many Bloodicos we'll get from this. So let's open the door and see what happens. I am excited. There she is! Yarnum, Tamarian Queen, we got an insight for finding her. Hello! Bloodshot. Okay, so if I... Apparently you can actually use this attack to push her into... Oh, and that... So the second baby's cry is what roots. She's cackling. Okay, so... Boom, and thank you. Dodge. Thanks. Okay. Hmm. Let's actually just make some blood bullets. If we're going to be using this attack, then dodge and stab. Okay, and another. Thank you. One more. This is fun. Okay, yeah, I... If I play my cards right, I should be in better position here. Oh, and right, she uses that knife now. Oh, three. Okay. Oh, it's... You can actually stream that. Like in Toho. You can just... Oh, okay, that was a pretty crazy attack. Oh, and now she's fighting like a... Queen of one of those ladies. Okay, so actually, you now she's making these duplicates. Hello. Hi. Hmm. So if we just do some running, this should work. Let's see. Stab it and just boom. Oh. And stab it. Okay. Stab. That is. Is that Murgo crying or what? Dodge and. Yeah, she's fighting like one of those. Ghost ladies and cane Okay, but... Yeah, this... 
I wouldn't say this is trivializing the fight, but it's a good attack, and I had heard that the knockdown you can deal with this attack does help things. Okay, but wait, what? Okay, dodge. Blood sword. I. Hmm. What's she gonna do now? That is. Okay. Is this just the? Okay, doppelganger summoning. And now she's shooting lots of blood. Yeah, it's it's a pretty cool fight, but this is actually... I believe it's the same music as Margaret Ligarius' fight. Which is because Ligarius was originally supposed to be Tamera-related, if I recall correctly. Yeah, that's why I remember hearing somewhere. Which makes sense, given that he's weird, gaunt, and kind of skeletal, a lot like, oh, right, but that is, we want to stay out of the way of you. Okay, so we can tell which one is which by the blood or lack thereof on the dagger. She's kind of using, kind of, Shikage-esque blood arts to make her sword bigger. Oh, there. Are we just going to do that again? More duplicates? You've gotta be kidding me. Actually, no. No, no, you are. Okay. So these are basically just her in phase one. How are we gonna deal with you then? Just slash it. Oh, okay, cool. Come on, just slash immediately and we gotta heal up. Use these blood vials as much as we can to avoid any kind of mishap. So just charge it and stab. Can we? There we go. Another stab. A little. Not too much, actually. So the second baby cry will actually root you in place. So I'm to be smart about that. Oh, thank you. Just stab it. Well, not if you miss me entirely. Cool. So just dodge it, dodge it. Okay. Oh, alright. A third. Third, so just stab it. Thank you. And just another stab. Thank you. One more stab. Thanks. And, alright. Can we get that again? Cool. Stab. One more, one more, maybe. One more, one more. Stab it. And is that it? That's it. No more Yarnum. It really does. Very slaughtered. And that is all the base game's chalice dungeons. We have well and truly done it. It's time to fight the final boss. The blood chunk and the Yarnum Stone, which is nearly a trophy. It is apparently a dead and calcified fetus, arguably. Sacred heirloom of Yarnum Tamarian Queen. Sacred heirloom left by Yarnum Tamarian Queen. The queen lies dead, but her horrific consciousness is only asleep and stirs in unsettling motions. That said, you can't revive Queen Yarnum like we could with Annalise, even though they're probably related somehow. The, his blood attacks are awfully, awfully vile bloody, and also she fights pretty similar to those bound widows in Cainer's Castle. So I think... I think I went... We should check on Annalise real quick. Also something funny I could show, but I'd have to go into a, another channel so I don't feel like it. Let's actually just use all... Oh, also, originally you would have been able to use... There's Cut Dog using that Yarnum Stone on that Fishing Hamlet priest at the start of the Fishing Hamlet, or he would talk about feeling a mother's love or something. So let's just use all of our great one... All of our cold bloods and see how much we can level up. I think I might want to go and check and see if I can talk to Annalise real quick, but either way, we are in the endgame. A bit more skill. Yeah, I'll just use I'll just use Holy Moonlight Sword for the final boss. Well, and yeah, can I get any more level ups with what I have right now? Just wanna see if I can if I can get a level of arcane, I'll probably stop at 40. If I can get more. Okay. 40 and everything would be fun. Then, hmm. I think we'll have to settle for 40 blood tinge and living arcane. Yeah. If we use all of this, I think we can get one more level of blood tinge and then we'll be chilling. Hmm. So how much more do we need? Blood Echoes and... We need a tiny bit more. Okay. So, 1,500 or 15,000 or so more? Yeah. Yeah, sure, tell me. Tell me anything. 
And then... Oh, Hajime Masenshi! Good to see you! How, how was everything yesterday? Good to see you again. Just gonna level up one more time. We are going to hit. That's good, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, I hope... Oh, what, what was all the food? It looked good. So briefly, I want to go back and visit... Visit Annalise real quick. Go to Ligarius to see. Yeah, the food is always a good option. Always a good thing to focus on. You actually arrived just in time to see me fight the final boss and finally clear Bloodborne. We just beat the secret boss of all the dungeon crawl side mode and... Okay, I wonder if... Got a couple of blood drags. I guess I might as well offer them. Actually, uh... Use that for two insight eventually. So, cheese curds, pigs in a blanket, burger sliders, meatball sandwiches. Do the meatball sandwiches have marinara on them? So I know that meatball often goes with marinara. Oh, and an, oh, and an ice cream bar. What flavors do they have? But the big thing is, is that in one of the chalices... And I don't particularly feel like looking for it. You can find a ring, and you can offer it to Annalise to propose marriage, but she says no. Yep, yeah, you can't talk to her. You have to kneel. Uh, but or not, Queen bend a knee. Okay. You have to kneel. There we go. Bearer of our blood. Welcome thee. What is thy wish? No, I don't feel like it. Okay, so we already revived her. No special. Special dialogue. Maybe we saw something already, but either way, no new dialogue. Chocolate, strawberry, cookies, and cream, vanilla, sprinkles. Anything special about the sprinkles? Understandable. That, That's smart. That is a smart thing to do. But, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. So basically Neapolitan. Oh, oh! I think our resident Italian might have something to say about the idea of Neapolitan ice cream being chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. A pineo at the worst of versus... Okay, yeah, from Germany. Okay. No idea how. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. So is there strictly for... Oh, nice. Glad you could get your funny hot dogs. Okay, so either way, this is the end of the game. Oh, and I... Oh, these crosses and... Oh, how Neapolitan ice cream, quote-unquote, is strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate, and that you might have some strong opinions about that as an Italian. Pyramid is waiting for you. Actually, let's... The doll. And as you can see, it's... Dawn is soon breaking in the Hunter's Dream, so let's just... Talk to our friend the doll one last time before we go kill Pyramid. Maybe because it looks kind of like the flag, because it has three... Three colors? echoes and that's after wrong okay big thing is is that since we killed wet nurse really really early we missed a bit of dialogue which was related to when you kill lady maria and orphan both of those individually in old hunters dlc that special dialogue regarding maria from the doll and german from the doll either way time for a fight fair enough take your time enjoy your breakfast What if I just attacked him? No. I will show you mercy. You will die. Get the dream. No, I don't think you will. I don't think I will. I think I'll fight you. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. But what if I want power? I'm going to refuse to submit my life. I'm going to fight you instead. Let's do this thing. It is weak to arcane, so. Dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? My blue and white. That's probably just the whole three stripes thing. Oh, it doesn't matter. Can't imagine an American would have that much respect for Italy. Assuming it was Americans. I don't know. Poor Italy. Poor Americans. Well, I mean, as in Italian in general. Let's go for this. There we are! Finally stands up. 
Time for a fight. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. Okay, Garamon, the first hunter. A funny side. Bit of insight. Dodge it. Oh, okay. Well, luckily, luckily we got a bit of. Let's just jump it. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, goodness. You're strong. Well, you know, all the reliable works. Keep on doing this. Okay, cool. <laughs> if only this didn't work so well. But you know, victory is about doing what works. It's not about having principles. Love my sword. Love my Moonlight Great Sword. And just, okay, please. Dodge it. Oh, you. Oh, okay, so. Ah, so they brought the recipe for the ice cream. Principals are the people in charge of schools who administer the students. Okay. What if I just... There we go! Nice, we actually managed to land the full charge. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We're getting close, we'll just... Get in close, and... You'll kill me. Held a message for reason aggression. I had a quick allow for that. Okay. Yeah. They keep forgetting that I like it when people I like it when people threaten to kill me. I need to change my auto mod. Let's just see what happens. Well, get a few hits on him, and he should be. He's invoking the power of the moon now. There we go. Let's just hit you. And a little bit. Get a few free hits. Well, okay, cool. Got one free hit. Let's do this thing. Come on, just dodge it. Funny, and now you're gonna be blocking any bullets I use. Luckily, we're only using bullets for our charge stab. Well, I said, oh, well, what, what? No, okay, he didn't get the visceral release. That's good. So just charge up and slam. There we go. Gotcha. Hmm. Side is back. Cool. Move in it. Oh, it didn't quite work. Didn't quite. Okay, I thought that was a grab attack for a second. No, it was just kind of a pull. Well, you know, we're definitely overwhelmed for this fight. That's what we get for doing the chalices. Okay. Which is not such a bad thing, actually. And just... Where'd you go? Where'd you... Here we gotcha. Be able to rotate enough. Check you down and dodge it. Come on, just... Gotcha. How much more? How much more? You won't comment? On what? Killing me? Okay. Cool. Stab. Is that it? One more little hit. One more little hit. Let's just... Can we go for a charge attack? Boom! I bet they were. Very slaughtered. Pull the hunter badge. And immediately... Check this out. Since we've consumed our three... One-thirds of umbilical cord... We've got some eyes on the inside. Which means an encounter with... The Moon Presence. Time for fun. And... Let's see. And... Is this our fight? This is our fight. Okay, I wanted to make sure because there's another ending if you kill Garamond. This guy comes, but you just use Garamond's wheelchair and it cripples you like it did Garamond. This is the Moon Presence, which may be Neurothota from Lovecraft. We'll see. Either way, it's kind of a pushover. It's very aggressive, but it's not that fast. I mean, not that damaging. Except for its one weird attack. Okay, we just gotta, gotta be smart about this. Okay, yeah, we, we're in okay shape for this fight. We'll be okay. Yeah, we can take off a good amount of health with just that stab, so... Let's just dodge it. Come on, can we... Stab it. Oh, range is difficult. Range is a complicated thing. Come on, come on, just dodge it. Stab, stab it. Oh, please. Okay, I might need to be smarter with the way I use... I might not be able to go for those stab attacks then. Come on, just dodge two ends. One more, one more, and thank you. Okay, nice. I think you can definitely get a visceral on him somehow. On it. 
face planted, yeah. One, two, two, and one more head hit. Oh, okay, alright. Hmm. Gotta find a way to get stabs and like two and one more hit and boom, boom. Thank you, thank you. So you have to stagger. Oh, thanks. Okay. So that attack will take you down to one health, which is not great. And is that a visceral? Or not? I guess not. Stabs are fun, but even the normal R1s are doing really good damage. Okay, cool. By the way, I do want to finish this off with a fully charged attack like I did the last time. And just stab. That's... Oh, and a visceral? Visceral? Nice, and... Goodbye! Goodbye! Nightmare slain! And that's the end of this horrible hunter's dream. It's kind of crazy how easy the final boss sequence was compared to a lot of other things. Oh, yeah. Both of those were first try. So was Queen Yarno. Are you cold? Well, I'm a slug. I don't know. And I have ascended to become an infant great one. Consuming my eyes on the inside and destroying the moon presence. Hmm. So there's a comma implying something else was said, but nothing we heard. Childhood's beginning, and that's Bloodborne. Director Hidetaka Miyazaki. That was... There's nothing like that. Really was nothing like that. Okay. So I guess... We'll be chilling. To be fair, to be fair, given that I couldn't... Stagger Moon Presence. I should have just been going for normal R1s anyway instead of the thrust. But it worked out in the end. And we even got our funny visceral finish. Cool. I like this music. Pretty freaky. So I guess... I'll just... Let the credits play out. Like I said, this one was going to be a bit shorter. Oh. Eel took a bit longer than I thought it would, but the final boss sequence took a little bit shorter than I thought it would. So it all worked out in the end. Yeah, it's... That's Bloodborne. Which means that next Saturday, I believe, I should be starting Dark Souls 3. It's an exciting prospect. But... Well, that said, Sunday after that, I'd be doing... Well, it depends. I might try doing Souls on other days, possibly, for the sake of getting through faster. I don't know. Big thing is, I'm wondering what kind of build I do for Dark Souls 3. Because, like I said, I need to be building luck. And the only thing that luck really influences is... One sword, one staff, and bleed chance on bleed weapons. The big thing is that the best way to fight would probably be using spell buffs on Evena Muradisilova. The doll. She won an award. Oh, the doll is Haimi Saori in the Japanese dub? There is a Japanese dub? Oh, that's crazy. It's the same voice actress as Ayaka, actually. Among other characters. Oh, and here we have it. It's Virgo's Lullaby. But, as I was saying, as I was saying... Okay, I should have paid a bit more attention if that was there. But, Lady Maria, yep, and it's... Yeah, that's crazy for her. Not... Recognizing a lot of other names, but they got her for Kana Hanazawa. Oh, and for Adeline, they got Kana Hanazawa, who Hanazawa Kana, who does. She's one of the characters in Mahotsukai no Yoru, which I need to read. Okay, why do they have underscores there? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it. 
even if the script is originally in Japanese, if I recall correctly, the English voiceover is always the primary one. It's interesting. Either way, for Sekiro, it's... I'd be doing with the Japanese anyway, because it just fits the setting. There are some... some recognizable people there. Forget. Oh! Yosh Shuhei Yoshida. That's... out of Sony. At least at the time. Don't know if he's still there. But it... Forget who... I know that... Sekiro... Sekiro voice actor... actor... Sekiro Namikawa Daisuke. Uh, he was... Namikawa Daisuke. He was... Well, he's Hisaka, among other things. He's honestly in Jojo Part 6, and he's... He's Yunarukami, and he's Waver Velvet slash Lord Elmoy the second from... And you hate to hear it, Fate. Okay. But... This might hurt you, but I do plan on playing through Fate Samurai Remnant eventually. You might like it. There's Yaoi. So... This is all there is. Interestingly enough, I don't think I ever showed it or played it, but the music box that I could have used, used to sun Gascoigne but never actually tried, it plays this song, this Murgo's Lullaby, which some people have interpreted mean that Gascoigne's wife might have been a Temerian. Given that there are a lot of Temerians just walking around, it would make sense, but still. Are you bleeding because I mentioned fate, or what? Understandable. I may as well hasten your death. So, so... It's just... Pretty long credits. It seems a bit longer than the other Souls games ones were, but to be fair, if they've got Sony on here too, it makes sense. Not the hammer! I don't use the hammer. Oh, I mean the boom hammer? Oh, sure. Actually, actually, you like the hammer? So I'll hit you with a Holy Moonlight Sword, because you'll like it slightly less. See, and that's what'll make it hurt the most. Hitting you with something you hated would make too much sense. But if I hit you with your second favorite weapon with this game, from this game, it would be the right amount of thought to make it hurt the most. Oh, of course. Well, I literally turned into a slug at the end of the game. It's not like anything's new there. Oh, but... Right, and it'll just throw me straight into New Game Plus. That's right. Worm. Always the worm. So I can check the description of the old Hunter Badge real quick, which would, among other things, allow me to purchase the Burial Blade. Yeah, just... wait. This is a back at... Yeah, see, it just starts to... Thank you, Mr. Ball Doctor. Oh, I've seen this already. I don't care. So see, we're right back in Yusefka's clinic. Right at the start of the game. So I will just... Can't go here yet. It does not open from the side. Check the old hunter badge. That would be... Hunter badge crafted in the age of old Garmin. This hunter badge crafted in Garmin's times has no practical purpose, except perhaps to assist in romanticizing about the past. Badge was a special privilege for the hunters of the past should not be dishonored. It should be left in peace unless one is truly prepared to assume the will of those gone before. That allows us to obtain the burial blade, which is the weapon Garmin used. So I think the last thing I'll do is just buy that thing, show off its moveset a little. And I guess we can just chop up this beast, find a lamp. Yeah, okay, cool. Fun. That's all. It's crazy to be back here at the start. Let's just find the first lamp and... Oh, wait, wait. Is there... Let me see. Should have been one around here, right? Oh my. Does it not show up until I die? Yeah, I guess it only shows up if I die to that thing, which would actually be kind of difficult given my defenses and level. 
just gonna run through that other lantern and see if I can grab. There we go. Grab the burial blade real quick. Blade real quick after we have a little bit of up. And there we go. Back to central Yarnum. Let's just run up and yeah. See, on New Game Plus now they're so strong that. Even this Holy Moonlight Sword is not one backing them. It's crazy. Down, and we just gotta find our first lantern, which should be right here. Funny shriek! Assume that was Cleric Beast, if I recall correctly. Go down from about that way. There we go, let's go home. Ah. Got a bit of insight, so let's just return to the Hunter's Dream. Fire Burial Blade and close this out. It's been good. It has been very, very good. Oh, but... Interesting. But it's repeating the cutscene as if we had died. Okay. Makes sense. Wait, is the doll here, or what? Oh well. Just like before. Okay. Hi. Abandoned doll. Okay, we can't actually level up right now. Interesting. Let's just get the weapons we don't already have, which would be Cleaver, Axe, Burial Blade, true weapon wielded by Garman, the first hunter, a masterpiece that defined the entire array of weapons crafted at the workshop. Blade is forged with Siderite, said to have fallen from the heavens. Garman surely saw the hunt as a dirge of farewell, wishing only that his prey might rest in peace, never again to awaken to another harrowing nightmare. And then... Let's see, and then we could... But we don't have Lagarius as a wheel, I believe. Never bought it. Saw a hammer, never bought the snake driver or the. Do I have a rifle spear? Let me see. I know I have rider pelage, but. Okay. Don't, I do have rifle spear. I got it as a drop from somewhere. So let me just. It's by Void of Mercy. There's also all these pistols. May as well get them. I don't believe I have a good rifle or. Do have a cannon, Gatlin gun? Do not have Rose Marinus? Have all that. Just to buy another. Don't need that. And then Blade of Mercy. One I didn't have. Oh, also Kirk Hammer. And then. See, I should have everything now. I can show off a few more movesets before. And this is. Got that from witnessing Eileen's death after killing Bloody Crow for her special trick weapon. Passed down among Hunters of Hunters. One of the oldest weapons of the workshop splits into two and activated weapons work blades worked with Siderite, a rare mineral of the heavens. It's effective in swift attacks, such as after a quick step in. I guess what I wonder is, what if I attacked Garman? Ah, oh, Hunter's Essence, because we bought, you have every weapon. Let's see what happens. Oh, nothing. He just vanishes. I wonder what would have happened if I'd done that at the end. I come back? Will he come back? I guess not. So let's just check out a few of those weapons real quick. Where the Mercy and Barrier Blade are what I want to show off right now. So, here it's just kind of a sword. Like that. And see kind of a magneticish sound. Back step, and forward, and forward again. That little purple effect. Go for the running and sort of a stab and a, another stab. No, slash. Stab and roll and slash. Roll and slash. And then if you switch it, it'll turn into dual wielding. And as you can see, we're switching things up in this cool dancey combo. Nice. Oh, it is. And then if you. Sort of combine attack, and if you do it like this, it'll. It's sort of magnetic rotation. So, can we charge that up? No, we can't charge that up, but we can. Q 
keep cutting. Ah, interesting. New one X scissor from Pokemon. Back step and forward with a slash. And what is this? Oh, it's a backstepping. Oh, that is very, very cool. And that's basically the same one way or the other, so. Let's just roll and stab. Roll and F. Slash. And is this going to be any different? Okay, running is. Stabs. Dancy slash. And. Okay, run sword before doing that. So that's that moveset. Basically, yeah. Uh, maybe Quavor. And then. Go for this. Barrel Blade actually has. I mean, Boy to Mercy is very high. Arcane on its split. So Mondrian compared to Holy Moonlight. Boy to Mercy might work well too for a nourishing setup, but. That will be far off in the future. So we got this curved sword. It's kind of similar to Beast Hunter Scythe. Kinda, kinda. Okay. Then if we turn to a side, if we do more stuff. Interesting. And the slash. It's kind of slow, actually. Interesting. Then just slash and a. Okay. Back step is stab and overhead. Running is another slash, another slash, rolling, uppercut, and another slash. Okay. Transformed is. Ah, interesting. And it just. Take it off, attach that, and. Good and far. Slash, and it turns back into the sword afterwards, and then just transforms, rolls back, and then goes through a slash. Crazy long range weapon, too. Well, that's you. Hit a lot of boss weak points without a projectile a lot of the time, actually. And, but this is a post game weapon mostly, because you have to kill Garman to do it. If I'd wanted to, I actually could have teleported out. After fighting Garamit, when Moon Presence showed up, and then got into the Burial Blade, and maybe tried fighting it with it, but. Eh, not worth it. And charge. Good swing. That's just. What's the L2? Oh, and that's, that's the one you want to use. The completely vertical swing. And this is what you use to hit enemy heads. Pretty cool. Show off a few more attacks. Upward swing. Side swing. Back step is... Actually... Very, very close. Interesting. Then just running is... That swing. And that swing. Cool. That's a good overhead, actually. Well, you know, let's see how... Upward... Slide and interesting combo goes on for a while. Either way, that will be the end of things, I think. We pretty much 100% at Bloodborne. Exciting stuff. So, thank you to everyone who tuned in. Schedule for the coming week will be posted to the fan court and Twitter tomorrow. Will include Dark Souls 3 among other things. Thank you very much. I'm happy to. And yeah, that should be it. And that's Bloodborne. Sign a